Yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, I remember when when my um, so in in thirteenth grade we were playing football for not 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 football. We that was the one year where we also like signed up for the handball tournament. And you know, like in Germany, school sports aren't taken like very seri like not seriously at all. Like it's all about club sports. But every school sometimes, like, if, if there's interest, they might sign you up for a tournament to represent the school, and then, like, you lose in the first round, and that's it. But that year, we signed up for a handball tournament. And in our region, there was no other club, so we got to the next level. And then, like, in the in the greater region, there also was no team signed up. So we got to, like, the district finals or something, and we... Actually, I think we got all the way to second place. Yeah, we, we finished run-up. But on the on the way home, we we rode on the bus, and you remember this is like 13th grade, and we had somebody from like a year below, from like 12th or 11th grade. And as we drive home, the guy was like, "Are we gonna make it back by 8 p.m.?" And we we're like, "Yeah, whatever, maybe, maybe not." And he was like, "I I have to I have to report to the police every week at 8 p.m." Like, whoa. Okay. Oh. <laughs> In 13th grade. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, "Okay, I didn't wow, even know that was a thing." hard criminal at 13 yeah or uh, 13th grade yeah <laughs> yeah i would think like that's something out of movies or, or like if it happens like in a different country because i've never heard about that in Germany. but the guy was like yeah i i better be home by 8 p.m so i can report to the police <laughs> okay sure <laughs> i did i did have a couple shows that i went to straight from jail oh that okay. i performed from because i had i had you know duis two duis uh -huh. and uh and and there were two performances that I went that I went directly from getting out of jail to playing. That sounds the like show. some GTA stuff. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> <is> crazy. <laughs> you know, so um, I felt like uh, this was kind of interesting. Yeah, it, and uh, one of them, one of them happened to be at a church too. I played a poker tournament so at a church like... once. That's probably not how it was <laughs> supposed to be, but that, that's how they made it work. <laughs> Dude, you're a rock star or something, for all I know. <laughs> Have you ever done like like the thing where you jump into a crowd and you go like crowd surfing? Uh, not off the oh, stage. Oh, that's how you got the you first know. concussion. Okay, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you you sent me this list. Um, this is this is a bit of a throwback to what we used to run like a, a while ago, right? I think scheming symmetry wasn't our very first decks. Really excited to see how that actually works with uh, position agent. Do you remember? Did oh, we actually yeah. get to search for both cards and like keep basically both of them? We never we never used both of those uh, before together. So yeah, I was like really. I, I I believe you 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 search for them and you get to keep them. So I do think that so too. seems like really freaking cool. Like that would be insane if you could make that work. <laughs> even if it's just taking a fetch land and just making sure you know you get more land drops for crabs, but you know taking out combo pieces and you know or counters <laughs> or like that'll be really cool to see how that works out. Oh, definitely. Hopefully we can do it. We also got the four dark witches in the main to to make this more likely. I want to see how that works. And also, scheming symmetry makes it so that the one of Helm can actually work a lot better uh, together with the mm. dodgy white walker. And this is a new one, right? Brovac, the grand, what up, grandiloquent, grandiloquent. Is that like the guy who speaks out of his tummy or something? <laughs> no. How, how, how do you uh, guys? How, how do you call the guys who speak like from the from the stomach or some, or whatever? It works. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I know what that or is. Something that, 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 that's, that's like an English word for somebody who can speak without opening their mouth. Hmm. Oh. Well, what? the ventriloquist, yeah. Is it ventriloquist? They have the puppet. They have the puppets. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I thought. And he's the grand yeah, ventriloquist or something. Close enough, I guess. <laughs> Brent Brent ventriloquist. It's French. Ventriloquist. So you, you, you only pronounce like every every third letter or something. Ventriloquist. <laughs> this is probably pretty, pretty close. Eh? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Red Rum. <laughs> uh, and also, like, hey, everybody, see, hello, hello. And this is, I believe, the first stream of the year. And actually, I have barely played any Legacy this year. I've been, like, really into my job, really into, like, well, I guess not playing Legacy this year, but yeah, this is, this is the first stream. So here we go. Um, this one basically doubles every move we get, right? Yeah, so it's not going to work with Tasha's, but, mm, you know, for exiles. the crabs. Yeah for the um the thieves guild you know i mean technically helm but not really in the way we're using it so that's that's going to be just kind of cool and you know if we ever it's got enough toughness if we really need to just chump something with it in an emergency that's mm -hmm. that's maybe a thing it's a lot um, support that's the most important thing i guess yeah so you know 
we if we do end up in like a scheming situation where in you a know scheming situation like Dothy <laughs> and Helm aren't the the main go-tos you know if we're maybe we already have a bridge or we don't need one um uh, it was just kind of like a, a, a fun of just to see Dude, I like you know it. if, I if with crabs actually. it would be kind of cool because like you know if you if you can search it out and then dump it and then and then activate like even a few crabs that's like another mil 18 <laughs> you know off a of, off of fetch so let's try it I want to see it work. You know what people have been saying? People have been saying that there is an insane amount of um, uh, reanimator on Magic Online right now. Oh, but, I yeah. like that. Uh, go to. Uh, okay. And we do we have the uh, actually we, did we have the one of surgical in there. We need, we need a mod. Somebody spamming the chat. Yeah, we got the we got the one of surgical. Okay, cool. Isn't there like somebody a mod in here? I thought kind of was a mod. I, I like I've been streaming ever since 2013. I still don't know how to like kick or ban people. How does this work? I click on the name. I guess I can also just like ban. God, I'm so bad at this. Add child forward. Spark. Okay, I think it did. Oh yeah, blue black riskaminator, which is like a, basically a mid range version of. of uh, reanimator. We will see uh, whether we run to that. Whoops, that's too big. I'm happy to run into the reanimator mid range. Oh, the mid range stuff. Mid range, yeah, but reanimator. See. I've been actually been playing quite a bit of Cyberpunk. Like I bought it when it was released, and then I played it like for only like a very short time, like really short, like a couple hours most. And very recently, I noticed that, like, because I always loved the setting, that people were saying, oh, it's, like, really good now and has, like, a d some DLC. So I got it, and I've put, like, 22 hours into it now over a couple of days. So really, really I haven't, I haven't seen anything on that. Um, is that kind of, like, like similar to, like, League of Legends? No, no, no. It's, uh... <laughs> Guys, what, what, what do we compare Cyberpunk to? It's... Do you know Deus Ex? Mm-mm. Okay, that's probably the closest one. Otherwise, System Shock. Uh, but System Shock is different. It's a bit of horror. It's basically a first-person shooter, but it has, like, tons of RPG elements in it. And it's set in, like, a... Uh, basically a cyberpunk setting in 2027. Uh, 2077. Mm. And everything. It was, like, the big thing to come out in, like, late 2020. And then was, like, bugged beyond belief. And then they... After the next couple of years, they fixed it. Because it was supposed to be one of the biggest games ever, but it didn't live up to it immediately, so that's why I'm only playing it now. Mm. Okay, so actually, I gotta get used to this again. How, are two scheming symmetries good? Like, what do we actually get with this? Don't think we get anything right now, right? I guess we, we keep this hand. I would keep it and just, like, uh, maybe just, maybe just, uh, even just swamp in the beginning. Just maybe throw them off and then instep thieves. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Okay, chat is saying we're in for a treat because you're playing against Demi Chicken. So I, I have been putting a lot of time in, like, Diablo 2 Remastered and Diablo Ooh, 4 yeah. since I built this this PC. Uh, and that's been kind of addicting because those that's my favorite game uh, franchise yeah, of all time. Insane. I think it's, it's one of the, like... Online games I've put, or even like overall, I've also put the most hours into. Which character are you playing? Or are characters, I guess? Uh, Sorceress is my number one. Mm -hmm. And I usually play hardcore. Whoa, um, respect. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I think the, the highest hardcore source I ever got was like 96. <laughs> okay. Are you playing Classic um, or, or um, uh, Throne of Ball? The, the, the Lord of Destruction. Ah, yeah, well, what's Throne of War? Oh, that's, that's the, the expansion to, that, yeah. That, yeah, that's the expansion to Baldur's Gate 2. <laughs> okay, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I love that. That's my favorite game of all time. And the, the new graphics, and, and I'm finding they, they actually added some new stuff, you know, from the original Lord of Destruction, which is kind of cool. I'm still finding, you know, oh, new they? things. Okay, because I played uh, it like, not when a whole it was lot. released, like, I think in late 2011. For like a um, two months or something, like really, really hardcore. Not, not hardcore, but like a lot of hours into it. But I didn't realize there was new stuff. But I also only play classic. 
Oh, the classic, yeah. Yeah, and the, and the Lord of Destruction, I believe they added new rune words and they reworked some of the skill trees, like some oh, of the synergies okay. and stuff. Oh, yeah, that I can um, see. And they did some things like, um, uh, oh, the doctor's office is called me. Give me one second. Sure. Okay, let's flash in the Thief's Guild. This one's flying, right? Yeah. By the way, holy shit. Let me get a free wrench. No, there's, there's no 40k cards we're playing right now. We'll be talking about 40k uh, on the episode on Monday, in the Your Day Turn episode that we are recording on Monday, so probably releasing something like Tuesday-ish. Mm, what do we want here? Is there anything you like, might want to scheme symmetry into? Probably not right now. I guess you could eventually get the helm. Some combination of like Dark Ritual Helm. Try to kill them that way. If we we don't lose life for this, right? Yeah, okay. So what if we scheming symmetry this turn for Dark Ritual and next turn we Hmm. Dude, this kills way too fast. So Oh god, let's say we scheming symmetry next. This time for Dark Ritual, next time we draw it. Then we go Dark Ritual, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana. 1, 2, 3. No, 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 not good, not good. Scheming Symmetry this turn for Dark Ritual. Island Pass, next turn draw Dark Ritual. Underground Sea, uh, Void Walker. Uh, still too, too slow. Too slow, too slow. Either way, it's too slow. Stupid fucking flow. Oh, we got Insaring Bridge we can get. Impact. I guess Insaring Bridge could do it. Hey, everything's all right. Yeah, they just had to push back my 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 CT scan to next week because the blood results haven't been in. Oh, okay, okay. I've just so been thinking about uh, like what, what the plan here is because this is killing us really quickly. Uh, I think we have to Scheming Symmetry for Insaring Bridge and try to get that that way. Because every other line where we try to get uh, Helm online is too slow. Because this kills us too fast. So... Yeah. So we take the hit, we go down to 9. The next one we Scheming Symmetry for Bridge. Then we take another hit down to 4. And then we... Oh no, he's... Ah, it's tough. Then we still need... Actually, we don't need an extra mana. Maybe... Okay, this is... We'll see. We, we we're also drawing something next turn, so maybe maybe we can make it work somehow. But this is this is a tough spot. Okay, land is good, I guess. I guess technically we could cast like two scheming symmetries, but that's that's not really the idea. Oh, uh, hmm. anything that's been oh we can cast into how can we cast intuition? Oh, because we get a rogue into play. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, but intuition doesn't really do it. <laughs> we, we we got two copies of Engineering Bridge. Close enough. Well, like, is there a third card that really would make sense, like would help too? Uh, Helm, I guess. But now Helm doesn't work because then we don't have Void Walker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. No, I think this is this is fine. Like we we just gotta hope that the opponent doesn't have anything that kills us next turn, because scheming symmetry like it's gonna be. Um, we have no way to mill them at all. Uh, not really. Just trying to see, like, I guess if we get Voidwalker into Intuition, but we already played a lands. Got no real freeway. I guess we got Surgical, but they wouldn't give us. Okay, what if we go like Intuition for Surgical, Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual? Does that do anything? In that case, you would wonder why wouldn't we go like triple dark ritual instead? Oh, because that wouldn't do anything. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah, maybe we just gotta hope that they don't have anything. I would still go for the bridge, the bridge uh, plan. Yeah, let's go for the bridge. I mean, they're probably not gonna give us a bridge, but. I mean, we get the bridge, but they they get to pick something that maybe kills us next turn. 
Oh yeah, I was thinking uh, intuition. Sorry. Oh yeah. yeah. I guess if they, if they fight this, we could. Okay, okay. I guess we just get to pick bridge, and we don't really get to see what they pick, right? Yeah. It's a cut on top. There's a chance they just like put a land or something on top, and yeah, we'll see. I might as well just put like seething song on top and then kill us next one with. I don't even know, <laughs> like another demigod <laughs> or something. This is crazy. Okay, opponent. Let's see. Is there any point in like keeping a void walker? I don't think so. Is there anything we might want intuition for that we could actually get that would do something? No, 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 no. Position agent wouldn't do it. I think we just attack. And try to get that. What kind of deck is this, by the way? You could intuition for Thieves, Skeleton Force, and Mill what they search for. Oh, dude, that would have been sweet. Oh, but we only have three copies of Thieves, Skeleton Force, so wouldn't have worked. Is there any other? Well, I guess we could have gotten Void Walker, no, but we don't have enough Black Miner to do that. Okay, at least we don't die to this right away. Honestly, though, you know what? They Actually, I'm so, I'm so stupid. Like, how did I not think about this? You know which card they got? Which card do you think they got? Force of Will. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, you're trying to figure this out, but... Oh! Oh, look at this. So easy. Mm -hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. They didn't even play a land. They did nothing, so there's a good chance they got Force. Should we just, like, take the intuition, cast it, and see whether they react to it and, and force it? But they wouldn't really force it, I think. Oh. You got anything that flies that can block their stuff? No. Hmm. I guess you got just got to try, right? That's, that's not really... We can get, like, brainstorm. We could, uh... Intuition for a brainstorm. And then? Um, <laughs> and then that's the next question. <laughs> I mean, that works yeah, if you nothing... want to like change multiple cards in our hands and, and get lucky that way. But there's, there's nothing really I, I want right now. Unless our brainstorm finds like Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, and the second ensnaring bridge, in which case we might have enough mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, but that's. I think we just go for it. Otherwise, we're dead. And let's see what the opponents to say about that. I believe we're just like losing to a five mana five four. Well, haste flying. Okay. Whoa, what's going on there? Three mana. What? Circular logic. Now I'm really curious. Oh, they might intuition in the response again. Seeding song in response. What the fuck? What would you do with five mana there? Uh, still nothing I wanna get. Expression of one mana. Okay, you got the seeding thong. Thong. <laughs> thong. <laughs> <laughs> One is always in very interesting decks. Yeah, it seems so. Let me go to Revenge, the card that's so much better on paper than in, on Magic Online. What the fuck? Invoke Calamity. You may cast up to two instant and or sorcery spells with total mana value six or less from your graveyard and or hand without paying the mana cost. Those spells would be put into your graveyard. Exile them instead. What? Cast up to two instant and or sorcery spells with total mana value six or less. I'm I'm not getting it. I guess we let this happen, right? Actually, can we can we cast something in response from there? Exile there's something not ready. Okay, let's. <laughs> I'm I'm ready for the ride. Let's see what this is going to be.
In a way, this is paying five mana to cast something for six mana, but you also get card advantage because you can pay, cast like two from the graveyard, I guess. It's funny how this card can be either card disadvantage, break even, or card advantage. What the fuck? <laughs> Primary command is two damage to any target. Okay, we still survive that, right? Target player creates a treasure token. What? And they get five mana. I mean, now we could cast this. And oh no, because the exile is part of the cost. Okay, so we don't do that. Okay, you get your your seething song. Oh, are they gonna cast this again? Well, I think they have. They had another seething that we could cast if they target the Dothi. Yeah, but they, I think they're trying to kill us here. Oh, the card could have even destroyed target artifact. They didn't hold it back. That makes me think they got another one of those. This is this is so confusing. Anyway, we somehow made the stick. So what do we what do we do from here? <coughs> why why can we not? Oh, we can't cast this because it's exiled as part of this. Okay. Uh anything with intuition we can do. Nothing really. Okay, let's, let's. I mean, I would, I would think of um, just trying to hail Mary the the intuition into the brainstorms and maybe get like a rich. Uh, that's too. That's too narrow. And, and get what? I was just thinking, like, if we could, if we could end up in a situation where we have like a. Oh, we're just that. A helm and a. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, you could do that next turn, but I, I was pretty sure we would die anyways because they didn't use this to destroy the, the um, bridge. So now they get a second one, apparently. Uh, and that should just kill us, right? Deal too damage to any target. No way to counter this. I guess... Oh no, Daze is still not in the grave yet. <laughs> I was like, hey, maybe we can cast the Daze now that they also have mana. wonder why they didn't just target us. Oh, well, they do, right? You get to shoot, pick two. That, that That's how we die. Oh, I thought they were targeting the bridge. Yeah, and, and us. <laughs> this card is broken. They can do both. They can target us and the bridge. Instant oh, ban. it's two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what's going on in that deck. Um, <laughs> Usually when I don't know what to bring in, I, I look at like what I don't want. Since they are combo-ish, maybe not scheming symmetry, but then again, opposition agent is good. Surgical is definitely good because you get to take out their, their stupid uh, demigod. Horse is really bad against demigod. Uh, if we could bring in Leyline, but I'm not really convinced. Ah, uh, well, hmm. they have some graveyard synergies. They probably like. Okay, Tasha's is probably not going to be very good, I would think. Uh, oh, yeah. So, what if we bring in this package? And then we take out some of the melt stuff because they have like the Grave and she's that are really annoying. So what's the weaker crap? The Hadron crap. I guess but if we take out all the craps, then we could go Oops. Completely crapless. We don't give a crap. <laughs> Something like this. And like this. And then we take out maybe two forces. I wish this was an instant, but I mean, it would be completely broken if it was an instant. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, the scheming, yeah. Let's take out these two because I'm scared of the, of the combo potential, but keep in one. And then the Thief's Guild Enforcer is just part of our beatdown. It, it's our Enforcer. Our um, Enforcer. This one is playable. This one's playable. We've got to find the second land, but we, we can do that. Pawns Mulligan to six games basically over. You know what? We, we recently had somebody. Uh, they decided to fly back from what well, I'm not going to reveal like too much, but they decided to fly back from the holiday destination a day early for 3,000 euros because it was raining. Okay, sure. <laughs> 3,000 euros? Yeah. Like they want, by the way, I'm shuffling because the... the Everything is bad, and the land is also bad. Uh, if it was like a black source, I would have kept it. Uh, yeah, 3,000 euros. They they wanted to go home a day early from like a 
long haul destination where they stayed and they were like oh it's raining on the last day i don't really want to stay here and like just book me a flight home early and my colleague like looked it up and like for that whole family of i think four people was like three thousand euros and like at the office we were like no way and the person was just like yeah sure make it happen like, oh. how, how much extra like how what was the original price so not three thousand more but three thousand total no three thousand on top to oh re wow to rebook the flight for a day earlier which is like... i would have just sat and played like board games or yeah, something or right? card games you just <laughs> hang out you get a massage whatever like it doesn't matter and and that person was just like yeah make it happen <laughs> I'd love to play board games for a day and make 3,000 euros. <laughs> that's, you know, that's what I think about. Like, how do you make, how do you get like 3,000 euros worth of value out of an extra day at home instead of like a tropical island paradise? Like, I don't know. So, okay, so the greedy play here is to do the brainstorm to find the land. And I kind of want to do it, even though like we could also go Dark Ritual, Thoughtseize, Voidwalker, but I don't really want to miss a land drop. By the way, oh, Mind's Desire, this is crazy. Let's let's try this. Desire. Let's try this. We are a blue black deck. We can find blue black cards. Awesome. Uh, this is everything we ever wanted, and then some more. I'm tempted to surgical the mind's desire. Nah, nah. Let them commit to like a graveyard line and then blow them up. Uh, blow them out with that. And so Voidwalker first, right? Yeah, because then we can thought season. Oh yeah, see, that's actually that's a lot better. And now let's take something great. Uh, <laughs> um, I guess we take the upgrade, right? Because it kills the Voidwalker. You could also take the yeah. intuition. Like, no nothing really matters. You could also take... Actually, intuition is so horrible against Surgical. I'm actually surprised they still got it. But they wouldn't... They don't know that they're Surgical, so okay. Um, yeah, let's let's just, like, waste the next turn by putting putting away this. Yeah, Lauren Real is also the best, the slowest spell by far. <laughs> okay, hopefully we won't get to that point where that card matters. <laughs> but you can draw three, yeah. <laughs> Why win the game when you can draw extra cards? Why have I heard that before? Hmm. So opponent played Volcanic, so that one's gone. And played Mountain. They might just end Intuition at our end of turn, and then you blow them up with Surgical. So, oh, bro, oh! Oh, that's naughty. Oh, <laughs> shit. Dude, we are wrecked. Oh, oh we can't even activate Woodwalker. Yeah, that, that that's also like nothing we can really do. We can upgrade nothing. <laughs> oh, dirty. Oh, why would you do that, opponent? Come on. Oh, that's that's so dirty. At least we're still gonna get them on the intuition. Also, it's kind of funny, right? If we if we get the ventriloquist or whatever he is called, uh, then we can mill double with him. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes it more likely that we find some kind of like you know demigod or whatever they got in there opponent with a nice choice of basics okay this one uh do we even want the extra land i guess we want because we want to maximize ham and also it's a it's a fetch land for brainstorm Come on, opponent. I know you want to do it. Intuition. Let's remove your best card. I have no idea what the... Oh, they're going to get demigods of revenge, right? Mm. They're surely going to get some demigod gods. Well, if that's, gods. that might be their only creature that you we've think seen so? so far. So we might be able to just keep helming continuously if we surgical that. Oh, sacrifice. I put him on... Wait, does, does it work that way? If we don't hit a creature, we keep milling. Oh, you only sacrifice it if you do hit a creature, so you can actually activate mm -hmm. it a second time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So let's hope they get the demigod. <laughs> I 
Like, if they have Mind Seize and all that kind of stuff, I would think they have another win condition, <laughs> but you're right. It might be the only creature win condition. But it's like, what do I even get here? My deck is so complicated. <laughs> <laughs> also, how are we down to 12 minutes? Like, do, did we get some kind of penalty early on? Okay. I don't know. It didn't, it didn't feel like we were really, like, playing slow at all. Triple Invoke. Um... One, two, three, four, five. I guess we have to aggressively fight over that. Because we also don't want to let them untap into, like, some way to cast that. So, let's go for it right away. Here we go. Take this one out. Definitely those from the grave. Uh, so they got Grape Shot, Lorien Revealed, and Ancient Tomb. Ah, uh, now the Lorien Revealed is going to be good. Okay. What else is there? Fury. What's this? Oh, oh that land. Okay. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. This is some kind of deck, man. This actually shouldn't really be all that scary, but it turns out it kind of is. Okay, we are, we are scared of Demigods. Furies and Mind's Desires, but we we're really scared of a lot um, them starting to maybe even chain Lorien Reveals. But they have no counter magic, so if we can find... Actually, that, that's pretty good. And their only instant speed removal is Prismari Command, I believe. So if we can find some kind of Leyline effect, we can win on the spot, I believe. Okay, let's see. Let's see. We took out all Yeah, really, stuff. like, Voidwalkers, Ponders, Brainstorms schemings we got a lot of or we might have taken out the schemings right uh yeah also or the scheming most make of it, them. If, if we get scheming then they find um prismary command which can take mm. out the helm before we can even get the thing down so scheming wouldn't work but we, we got like eight outs or something minus two i guess six yeah hard cast lord in the real sure I still gotta figure out where I wanna go this year for holidays. I have like absolutely no idea. I, I got like 35 day paid days off because I like took some from the last year still. Oh, and looks like we are gonna win on the spot. Like it. And then I got an extra nice. one. And, but I have no idea where I wanna go. I guess we just like to wait for two. Easy. GG. Have you been in Norway? No, Which I wanted to a couple of years ago, but Norway was like, like we actually looked into it, but then turns out Nor Norway is just like way too expensive, like completely busted beyond belief. It's like, you know how people say that it makes no sense that people live in Arizona because of the heat. Yeah, and it also makes no sense that people live in Norway because of like the, the, the price level and everything. Mm. So we, we substituted Norway for Scotland. Which, Scotland rocks. Scotland was amazing. Absolutely amazing. But, oh yeah, I bet that was a fun time. Yeah, Norway was just like... I, I've only been to Norway once on a, like a business trip. And I went to the... Yeah, I, I guess I had the worst combination. I, wa I was at the airport. And I was in Norway. And I wanted to buy food. But, you know, it, it like the price quadruples and then it quadruples again. And I bought like a small side salad and it was like 20 euros or something. Like, Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Norway. That's insanity. Yeah, not even sweets can afford Norway. Yeah, I can see that. Hot sauce and hot sauce. A perfect name. <laughs> uh, anything we want to change? Not so much, really. I think this is where we want to be. Yeah, I'm cool with it. Hey, Sylvia, thank you very much. So, anybody coming in, give us your holiday recommendations because I have... How much would that be? Like one and a half month off or something? And I have no idea where to go. Uh, is this close enough to make it work? Like, our only interaction is Thoughtseize, but we also get to block, like, two of their main combo pieces, and if we draw Helm, we can win almost on the spot. I would try it. Yeah, especially in the draw, right? If you get that extra rip. That, that's right. Do, do you have any plans? I, I know Americans are, like, you, people usually say, like, Americans, like, go on vacation inside America. Or is that, not like, not something you, you think about at all, you, anyway? Hmm. 
vacation wise, you know, I, I think more of, you know, if it's winter time, maybe go into the mountains, which are, which is pretty local. Like I can get to one of the best mountains, mm-hmm. you know, within like four or five hours of driving. And there's even <laughs> some, some mountains like, <laughs> there's even some mountains like an hour away, you know? Okay. Um, but like the best mountain, Mammoth Mountain, you know, that's, that's a really good skiing spot that I could go to. Summertime, I just think of like, there's so many beaches on this coast. Like any beach I go to is basically like people come from around the world to come to see these beaches a lot of the time. So um, any of those is is fine. Just like camping at the beach is always fun. Um, sometimes just going down to Mexico because that's also really close. Like I could take a cruise down there a cruise uh, even, or okay. just fly down. Um yeah, it'd be nice to go down to Puerto Vallarta again. That that was a really nice vacation spot. Hmm. Well, what do you take here? Have you got an- another thoughts he's coming up next turn? I don't like that invoke, especially with the seething song. Oh, but the invoke is so far away, right? Mm. The invoke, like, that's a card that doesn't really scare me all that much. Like because we got the lay Maybe line. even just the pedal. Yeah, I was thinking it's either the pedal, the song, or the mind's desire. Or I guess demigod, but I don't really think that's like we, we if, if demigod is the most annoying card next turn, we can still take it next turn, most likely. But if we if like if we leave the opponent with demigod, pedal, and song, and they draw a land, then we got a demigod flying into our face next turn. So we probably want to take one of those three. I'm and thinking of the song. Yeah, the thing is, like, if we, I mean, me, me too. I'm, I'm just wondering whether we could take the pedal and then the next turn the song and then strand them with, like, a bunch of uncastable cards. Mm. You know what? Let's do that. I, I, I want to try that. Pedal first. Yeah. So yeah, for big holidays, I really want to go to Japan. But if I do that, I want to do it for like three weeks. And I guess I got I should at some point like plan that. And I haven't really like done that. Also want to go to Nepal. Also want to go back so to Nepal like cool. East Africa, like Uganda. Uh, too much stuff to do. And about, then like, also, at some point, Asia. I also got to pay for it, I guess. <laughs> Have you ever been to like Thailand or Vietnam? No, I thought like... Well, when I was younger, I thought like so- Southeast Asia was going to be the very first thing I'd go to. Like w- once I have like time and like a little bit of money at least. And then I ended up n- never going. And I kind of want to go because like I know so many people there from work and like so many great places. And I always like each year I end up not going. So maybe maybe I should just like do it. Like be like, fuck it. Okay, let's do it. I want to. Because yeah, here it's great. One of my, one of my uh, recording clients is Vietnamese and he was trying to get me to go next month. But I, I need to renew my passport. And that would take, you know, a couple months maybe to Wait, get that long? to get it done, like six weeks I think, unless you ex- expedite it. Uh-huh. And even expediting, especially with this whole recent, you know, head thing, I mm-hmm. kind of wasn't really even thinking about traveling to another country. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'll go at a different time. But that, like he says, like oh, you'd have such a fun time in the south of Vietnam. But he 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 recommended going if you do go, uh, like in the springtime. Because summer is just so hot and humid. <laughs> you hear that so often, yeah. <laughs> is, is that like without revealing too much? Is that your rap superstar? Is, is that person associated with that client of yours? Oh no, they're 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 <laughs> different completely. Okay. Yeah, this guy's like, he's he's more into like real estate financing, and he just he's dumping a ton of money, like a half a million dollars, into a studio. Okay. Um, and actually, I have a training session with him this evening with the team from Poland that came and, and installed his mixing console, mm-hmm. his mixing desk. So this this uh, this afternoon, I'll be there. And they're going to do a, a short little, not that I really need a training session, but just for, so I can ask him some questions specific to their, Ooh, their soundboard nice. before they go back to Poland. Okay, we're getting dangerously. I was gonna say we're getting dangerously close to demigod of revenge, but actually we don't because ancient tomb doesn't work for that. <laughs> ancient tomb doesn't cast no demigods. Ancient tomb only casts full gods. What did we melt? We melt braid and this. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I guess we're on full beatdown mode now. Rogue Tribal. Opponent, take it. There's a world where the pawn eventually just like clears our entire board of scrape shots. I hope it doesn't get to that. <laughs> mm. But there's no point in holding back anyway. Because time is ticking, like time is running against us. At some point, the pawn is going to like draw the mana they need. And then they're going to like, I don't know, invoke Calamity, Minds Desire, or our, our entire board into grape shot or something. Let, let's see. Uh oh, they got an end step play. That's not good for us. Draw two cards and discard two cards. Create a treasure token. Okay. At least they're desperate. Let's see what they discard. Maybe Demigod, because they know they're not racing. Yeah, I think Demigod's going to be one of the discarded cards. Plus X. And all the other ones are good. Oh yeah, I'm like beginning of March, I'm going to the, the basically biggest tourism trade fair in, uh, in the world, in Berlin. And my colleague is introducing me to another colleague of ours from Uganda. And like she runs a company called Churchill Safaris. And they do like insane safaris there. Like not only gorilla trekking, which is like the main reason to go to Uganda for most people, but anything else around the country as well. And I'm really excited. Do they have that. silverbacks? Yeah, yeah. Like basically every every family is I think that it's is the leader or something. I, I wouldn't even know like how the family structure of them works, but I'm pretty sure like the way it works is if if you become the leader of a family, they actually grow the silver hair on their back. So like oh, you huh. You're not like a born silverback, but if you like become whatever family patriarch. So there's some weird genetic thing if you're a patriarch, your genes just go, we need silver hair. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Interesting. Yeah. And you get really close to them. My colleague did it. She went there with her. her well, okay, I guess I shouldn't review too much stuff. So somebody? Okay, this is weird. <laughs> husband, Someone basically. from Wu-Tang. No, so, so, husband, basically. <laughs> And and they they were driving around Uganda by themselves for like three weeks, and that, that was quite the adventure. Like for everything I love about Kenya, if you go to like let's say some inner more inner African places, it gets a lot more adventurous and even more. You adventurous ever been to Con Congo? No, no, but my colleague has. She went to up some some um, not really dormant volcano in the Congo. I heard that's like really you know kind of dangerous with still like a lot of the uh yeah like especially the blood right diamond now. stuff going on especially right now like right now congo is in really bad shape dude we got all the there's, dark there's gotta be there. some there's gotta be some dinosaur dinosaurs still roaming around there <laughs> yeah maybe, maybe we just didn't find them yet oh, my, my my other colleague just told me she like a while ago did a safari from namibia to uh botswana and i think they might have also gone to Zambia. and that one wasn't even like a like a guided safari or anything they they just like oh my god i think we, we might just lose now <laughs> um they went on on a trip with two friends of theirs who are both doctors who had been living there for like 30 years at the time and they went into a completely big adventure thingy like not even like proper roads or guides or anything they were like driving through like the most rural areas of of um namibia and later on botswana you can imagine and upon is going hard on us in the storm here let's see how that works and she she told me so they were driving us with like two cars and every night and that's the crazy part because they were camping they had to find like a cliff so they could like position their cars like at a 90 degree angle at the cliff so they were protected from animals otherwise you know there's no way to arrange two cars to be like protected on all sides so every night they had to find a fucking cliff and then arrange the cars mm. and then pitch the tent and then sleep there and she told me like one morning she woke up and she started making breakfast like basically cooking it on the outside and then after a while she turns around there's like a, a lioness just a couple of meters from her watching her and she was like okay time to get back in the car and also it's, oh wow it's, yeah later on the trip they they were driving through some area where there were like tons of wild animals and usually like lions they don't care about cars lions they're like the most chill thing you can imagine lions are like whatever car dude i i got you like whatever i i got paws you know i can run around it's much better yeah and they started going like really ham on the tents 
because there were tents on top and the, the lions were freaking out and they were jumping into the tents they were ripping them apart and they wow. figured there must be something inside the tents that's really really drawing in the lions some kind of like food scent whatever it is so for the rest of the trip they decided to not sleep in the tents anymore so for the rest of the trip for the next two or three weeks they only slept inside the car behind the steering wheel like holy oh, fucking yeah. shit what kind of adventure they were having like yeah they sell safaris but i don't sell that because that's something you don't buy that's something you only get if you know somebody that is crazy yeah okay opponent kind of got rid of our entire board has seven new cards in hand i hope we don't die i think we can just pass i mean we could ritual into a helm if we if we found one yeah but uh, right yeah. now we just like we can attack them for lethal next turn hopefully Although maybe we're gonna get them with like a position agent if they're intuition for something. Who knows? By the way, in speaking of Norway, you know how how like a lot of countries they have like an independent wealth fund, and Norway also has like a wealth fund, which is like where the, the government puts out tons of, tons of money into, and I think it like feeds their retirement fund or something. But something I read the other day which completely blew my mind. Did you know that 1% of all stocks in the world, literally of all stocks traded in the world, belong to the Norwegian uh, Wealth Fund? Just like mm. Norway has so much money, they literally own 1% of all the, the stocks in the world. Which is like so crazy to me. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I do wonder whether we even want to flash in the opposition agent. Because I think we don't. We might want to induce like an attack next turn and then like we flash the engine in and kill them at the end of turn. I think that's better. Because right now if we flash it in, nothing happens. Ooh, Voidwalk is a good one. Let's walk the Void. Voidwalker. Ready for battle. By the way, if somebody tunes in, this is how legacy works. But only at the top tables. <laughs> At the very top tables, this is how we play man. Like this is hard legacy, as we call it. Street legacy. I'm kind of liking this rendition right now. Of our deck? I mean, we still have a lot of games to yeah. We still have a lot of games to play to test it, but so far it's kind of cool. Yeah, it definitely has like tons of cool toys. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yes, baby. Yes, oh my. please. Oh, this is this is like screenshot material worthy. And they don't have any counters. They don't, right? Unless they brought dazes. Unless they brought but, dazes, in, I mean, but we they, still have a one to pay. They could have a braids. A braid would get us. Uh, let's do it like this. Let's keep the one black open. So a braid gets us. Let's see. Opponent <laughs> does have a count that goes to zero. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh this is great <laughs> we we should we shall put that on on the twitter later on loving it <laughs> okay here we go easy game <laughs> they brought back the forces right they didn't have forces for game two i believe <laughs> <laughs> well yeah because they saw the helm and they're like we need to stop that yeah <laughs> Oh, Jesus, MTG. Never heard of that person. 214. Pick up. Pick. Oh, pick up. Shoot. Okay, I get it. Sakuragi, I haven't seen like forever. Dude, I haven't been playing like Magic Online for like two months, basically. And all of a sudden, like tons of names I've never seen. And then some names only came back. Oh, Balenciaga and Boba. Oh, that's the person who sent out the fake. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. There was somebody who was like in on social media everywhere bragging about how much money they have and how rich they are and how awesome they are and then max torsion called them out and were like hey come on like that's not you you, you don't really own stocks of these companies and everything and the person was like oh yes i do and here's the screenshot of my portfolio or something and then like max did the most basic image reverse search on google and turns out that was like a stock picture portfolio something from like one or two years ago and <laughs> posted that he was like oh is that you like Aah! that person was shamed into the ground and i'm actually surprised that's that they are back <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Like, who's got a fake about? Yeah, that? about being rich that online. Just seems so lame. <laughs> the dude got banned from wearing the edgiest merch because they didn't want to be associated with them. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a reverse sponsorship. <laughs> Sir, please don't wear our clothing. It's bad for the brand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like the idea of a reverse sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I have no idea what we're playing against. Busk Kiwi. Okay. Well, let's keep the option open of playing a turn to Void Walker. chose to shuffle and they know what's up it's crap town baby oh no didn't want that well here we go who would you ban from wearing everyday eternal merch nah it's different like everyday eternal merch basically the way it works is like if you are cool enough you feel the call to wear it if you are not cool enough you you don't even get to like be in a position where you could wear it in the first place. It's basically a, it gatekeeps itself through the coolness factor. So we we don't even have to worry about that. Also, nobody has ever bought something from the merch store ever since the the new website went up. <laughs> so maybe we gotta work on that merch. <laughs> so maybe that tells us that our listeners are just like not cool enough. Maybe we, we gotta drop the coolness requirements. By the way, what are we playing against? Molten Collapse? Oh, okay. Yeah, of course. Relexixis Delver? Going hard in that wasteland. Uh, what are you saying? Going hard in that wasteland. Mm, don't really care about it, right? Yeah. I guess he could brainstorm it to find another crap, but I don't really want to run to another days that they might have at Hardcast here. Let's just chill. The coolest thing actually is oh bow master sure actually not sure Let, let's brainstorm a response mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what 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 do you like here hmm. basically we can only get rid of one card anyway and i guess that could be position agent could also be Voidwalker. Could also be this guy, but like that guy's really good eventually, I guess. It's just like we, we're never gonna get to cast Voidwalker twice, right? Because we, we need to get underground seas and the first one will be yeah, actually let's get rid of one from Voidwalkers. Yeah. Actually we can get rid of both Voidwalkers, totally forgot that we have a touch land. Let's figure out whether we want to get rid of both of them. Like, I think we kind of do, but they work with Helm. But maybe the idea, maybe the extra play was to put away Helm and Voidwalker. Uh, do we block here? I, I don't want to block. I don't want to like lose the crap to to another Bowmaster. Now I feel we'll like might. Now I feel like I might not have one because after we didn't block, they might have flashed in the second one to like deal one more damage here. Uh... I don't want to draw a Void Walker. Yeah, it might come into play later because then we do have rituals to but like. The thing is, if we don't draw Void Walker, then we have to get the uh, uh, a basic island, right? Which kinda works. Oh yeah. It's annoying. It's annoying either way. Oh, mana is like too stressed. Also, Ponda is not that great here. You know what? Let's draw the Void Walker. And let's go hard on the Underground Seas. I kind of want to run the Brewback, but I feel like it's it, it's like so daisy, so ultra daze territory. Yeah. Here that, that, like, let's not do that. Not that the Voidwalker really does anything for us anyway. So we could ponder here. 
Oh, force pitch days. Okay, okay. I'm cool with that. Hmm. I wonder whether we want to ponder. I don't think we need to. But the, pr the problem with pondering is if they actually somehow still have the second Bowmaster, which like seems unlikely, then they can actually kill the crap. Because they get like the sh one shot from Ponda plus the, the one shot from Bowmaster. But it doesn't really feel like they have a second Bowmaster. But what else would they have at that point? Probably another mm. Force plus Days. And, and red cards, I guess. Yeah, red cards and Force plus Days. It's like the stuff that they're sitting on. In which case... They still have half their deck left. I kind of want to ponder to find a land next turn because we're probably going to get underground uh, wasted. Like we basically want to hit like ponder. yeah, we want to hit like two lands in a row, kinda. Yo, Adam, how's it going? Yeah. First stream of the year. Adam Combat, hardcast days. Oh, second fucking master. <laughs> there it is. Okay, they next leveled us. They next leveled. Okay, now it's basically GG. Oh my god, we're we are so wrecked. So we get wasted on this. Ah, uh, let's see. Maybe there is a word. And now we lose the crap. Are they even gonna go after the crap? I mean, that's a very real scenario where they just shoot the face. Yeah. They just shoot the face. They're like, we don't care about no crabs here. By the way, did you know that the, the great crab migration on, on Christmas Islands has been delayed this year? Severely delayed. You did Why not that? know that, apparently. <laughs> okay, hands up in chat. Who knew? I'm just, a, I'm just in shock. <laughs> Absolute terror. <laughs> it's, it's because of like you know climate change and everything. War, war, water getting warmer and everything, so they don't migrate. Oh my god, third wasteland. Oh. Okay, we're gonna get tricked here. And like the way it basically works is like the females, I believe, they go into inside the island to lay the eggs or whatever they have, and then they die, I believe, or something. That's usually how it works, mm. right? And then the males, they go back into the sea. Which probably wouldn't make sense, right? Because then half the population would die every year. But something like that. But now the fem like the female crabs have decided, no, we shall not do that. Maybe there's also just like some kind of, I don't know, movement for them to not die anymore. Because they're like, hey, we've been doing this forever, but now we don't want to do this anymore. It's just stupid. Uh, I can see that. They're rising up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's... Let's move to the next one. This is our deck is struggles much. against good decks. Um, <laughs> how how should we put it? Um, what do we want from the sideboard? Even I always like the ley lines against them. Um, ley line of helm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, thought seizes seem okay. Thought seizes okay. And then we take out the, the the mill package again, I guess. Also, we should take out the surgical. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, take out surgical. Uh, Tasha's is iffy with their with yeah, their yeah, uh, yeah. Merc tides. And I guess Bruvac if we're going to go that route. And then I guess you can bring in this one. And then we have two forces. I would two bring in forces? a Brazen, yeah. Scheming Symmetry. Nah. nah. I kind of like Scheming if we have Opposition still in. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Because I could always get a Bridge. Bridge seems to be pretty decent about against them. Ba -da -da -da. Okay, okay. This is going to be a good first turn. All right. We take out whatever... We... Actually, no. We, we lead on the Voidwalker, of course. That's a smart play. Da, 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 da. Dude, I love that music so much. I don't know if you can actually hear it. I think you can't hear it, right? Unless you're watching the stream. Yeah, not on not on the Discord, but I can bring up my... Uh... Maybe I should bring just like, stream up. myself listening to music. Maybe I should just like, stream myself listening Whoa, to music. Oh, I can hear myself now. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm about <laughs> to hear myself again. <laughs> the infinite cycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I hadn't configured it right, it would actually be an infinite cycle now. <laughs> um, actually, no, it might actually even be. Okay, here we go. So they... Whoa, they got something really good. If they protect their... 
their hands. I guess they're also done for the Lucid Voidwalker. Now we have a force available on call. Force on call. Sir Force a lot. That's kind of a cool like line of plays. Like Dothy thought C is and then they force, but we get the force. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. I'm the force deck now. What music is this? This is, um, it should say on the bottom right what it is. It is, basically I got it from Stream Beats, or whatever they call it, Senpai Music or something. Where is it? Uh, okay, it doesn't say so. But I'm pretty oh, sure it's Oh, did you like... ever listen? But you sent me oh, something once that I listened to that I like, but I, I'm not sure. Did, did you send me the, uh, the chiptune stuff you did as well? Let me scroll up, maybe you did. Yeah, the album from, uh, it's on Spotify. Oh, is it uh, Mystic West? Mystic West, yeah. Oh, I gotta check that out still. Haven't haven't checked that one out yet. Definitely gotta gotta. Yeah, I think there's like thirteen or fourteen songs. Yeah, goggles, exactly. That that's it. It's it's free use chip tune that you can use like for streaming and everything. Oh, do do we keep this like we draw another land, which is bad. I would shuffle. Yeah, we like we get wrecked once again by Bowmasters. I hear the card is pretty good. But we still haven't figured out where I want to go for holiday this year. Chat, help me out. Where did he go? Like, I would probably go for like a solo holiday. Maybe even like travel around a little bit. What's the best place any one of you has ever been to, to do that? Have you ever been to Bali? No, no, nowhere in Southeast Asia yet. I have a lot of friends that would go to Bali and they said it was <laughs> like amazing. You could bring like, you stay there for like maybe like two thousand dollars and you just live like a king for like a month mm. Mm. how long are you planning on going well i have one and a half month off this year like i can figure it out i actually i know some people on bali like at the last trade fair i was sharing like a booth with like um, a couple who have like a guest house there and they were like yeah sure come you can like stay for a couple of days for free and then the rest is like we, we rock it out so yeah maybe <laughs> there's too many places i want to see man oh uh, do we just hold that back in case they don't flip and attack? Yeah, let's do that. I like that. England, kinda. You got the best recommendations. I hear the Lake District is actually pretty nice in England. Problem is, Callum doesn't invite Julian, only Kai. But I was going to Berlin to see Kai. But Ber but Kai is not there. Like I I have this this trade fair at the beginning of March that I want to go to. But there's also this legacy ski camp. There's actually like a pretty cool like legacy ski camp hut in the mountains, in the Italian mountains, right before the next four seasons. So that's why I can't meet Kai at the trade fair. Okay, I guess we trade, even though like I'm not thrilled about the trade. I would rather trade though, just so they don't get a 3-3 flyer or 3-2 mm, flyer. True. Like we need time. I might actually just kill this Ballmaster. <laughs> Stupid Ballmaster, seriously. Brainstorm. 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 Fuck, this is my new voice. I'm gonna use this at work now. I'm gonna use this for work meetings. Hello, sir. Would you like to book a vacation in Kenya? Kenya book a vacation. Okay, okay, this is getting weird. Yeah. It worked. Porn is like, Porn was told, you know, brainstorm is what you do. If you want to like... Win. Win. <laughs> so I'm going to cast all my brainstorms. There was like, I know in 2010, 2009, 10, 11, we had a rule in Legacy. The first player to cast and resolve four Tarmogoyfs wins the game. And that was like true a shocking amount of times. But yeah, now now Tarmogoyf even gets like reskinned, reprinted. It's like not even like a, this. It doesn't command any respect anymore. Okay, so what what happens if he's scheming here? I think we get like the, the worst end of the trade, I would think. Is there anything you want a scheming symmetry? Like basically you want a scheming symmetry for something that creates card advantage. Otherwise, like, it's it's not good. 
Well, I wouldn't scheming unless we had a cantrip or a right away, yeah. opposis- opposition agent, unless we were like in a super dire situation. Yeah, I like so that. I would hold it. You know what? This deck could actually use. Like, we could splash green for four Tarmogoyfs. Imagine if you ripped a Tarmogoyf here. Foil OG Tarmogoyf is worth still $400. Okay. Really? Oh, the OG. Is it, is I love like, Future Sight stuff. Yeah. Like, I got Future Sight foil Dryad Arbors for my elves, and I <laughs> love it. They're certainly better than from the board ones. That's probably like... Oh, yeah. Rob. By the way, have, do, do you know uh, Rhystic Studies? Yeah. Oh, you know, have you have you seen the video of Rhystic Studies um, playing uh, about about foil cards? That was so oh. good. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the Rhystic Study card. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Actually, as, as I was saying it, I was like, oh, maybe, maybe, like, yeah, okay. So there's this guy. He's a magic content creator. Rhystic, his name is Rhystic Studies. And he does the most, and, like, I'm not even kidding you. I barely watch any, like... Which I guess is kind of weird for a lot of people since I've used to be like really deep into everything. But I barely watch any magic content outside of like the stuff I do or the people I work with. And but Mirrorstick Study is the exception because that kind of level, that kind of quality exceeds anything in magic. So and what he does is he he basically does one hour, sometimes an hour and a half documentaries about usually like the history of, of something in magic. It is like Sometimes just a card, sometimes a concept, sometimes, you know. Mm. In this case, he does a one and a half hour documentary about the history of foil cards, how they came about, ah, how they were influenced. Cool. It's so cool. Like, I tuned into it for, for lunch, uh, for dinner the other day, and I was like, you know what, I'm probably just going to watch like half an hour of it, and then that's it. And then one and a half hours later, I was completely, completely sucked into it. Like, so, so sucked. It's amazing. So Quick trivia question. What was the first foil promo ever made? First foil promo? Like official release, you, you say, right? So yes. none, none of the test prints, like City of Traders and stuff. Okay, the yes. first foil promo released uh, could be Gaia's Cradle. It was, oh, you gave it away. Oh, wait, uh, I guess. It, uh, it was Lightning. Oh, Lightning Dragon. It was either Dude, Lightning Dragon. Dude, it was, it yeah, is, or... yeah, it is Lightning Dragon. It's literally, <laughs> it's the yeah. thumbnail of the video. <laughs> 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 it's the thumbnail of the, that whole video that I did. Of course, it's Lightning Dragon, yeah. <laughs> like, he talks about yeah, Lightning Dragon for, like, I don't know, 10 minutes at a time. <laughs> you're right, you're <laughs> totally right. <laughs> I did have, there was a situation when I was, uh, so I was, I must have been, like, 6th grade, 7th grade. It was when Urza Saga came out and they started, they did the promos for that. And I went to uh, some kind of event. And I bought a foil Masticore, because at the time that was like a huge thing. Oh, for, it still is. At I least think for it was me. like it was like two hundred, but there was a foil cradle that I could have got for three hundred. And nowadays I'm just like, man, I should have got that cradle. <laughs> I would still be playing with it. But I ended up trading the foil Masticore like two weeks later to some guy at the, like the game store for like a shit ton of cards, even though it was like at the end of the day, it gave me more value than what they're worth now, because I don't think the foil massacres are really worth a ton right now. Oh, shit. Um, oh, shit. How do I get this? I just realized this but, is yeah. slowly... Nice. Um, it's still sealed. Nice. Yeah, it's sealed, but it's like... I don't know. It's, it's slowly losing the seal, apparently. I would put it in, like, a, in a plastic case so it doesn't get... somehow... Oh, it's in a plastic case. Oh, maybe I'm actually gonna sell it. Oh. I haven't figured it out yet. Oh, force on the helm. Okay, I guess that's fine. Foil Masticor is like so cool, seriously. Like, oh, I just yeah. love all those. those it's still more than 200. Force. Wow. Although, if I had kept it. Uh, for the last 15, 20 years, all my cards were just in some box, like not, not like with no like ops, you know, uh, humidity absorbs or anything. So if I, if I did keep that, it would have been like probably super curled by now. Mastico was also the first card I ever opened in a booster, but not foil. The first, the first rare I ever opened was Phyrexian Colossus. 
And I love. I think I got a couple cradles. I think I got a couple cradles out of a pa out of packs. Oh, you did? Or at least one of my cradles I still own. I I pulled from a booster. Okay, no, that's not the... actually no, no, no. Wait, wait. Oh, but not foil cradles, right? Not foil. No. Yeah, yeah. you was... can't get a foil in a booster. Exactly. That's, that's what I was gonna say. Okay, so this is interesting. I was like, we can either just pay, or we can dark ritual and response and pay. But I think there's no point in dark ritualing in response, yeah. right? Because this basically telegraphs that they get a second days. So let's just like pay and do the two for one. Foil, foil Molten Hydra. That one's from what's this legacy? Legacy, legacy, yeah. That one's the card that gets the extra heads, right? That's how it works. Yes, I believe so. Love that. Hey, right, where is this game headed? I'm to? thinking of Rock Hydra. Rock Hydra gets extra heads. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I don't know if Molten Hydra does. Okay, I guess we pass here. This is such a weird game. <laughs> I dig it. Yeah, I love weird games. So we could scheming, scheming, and then thieves guild, so we know they're what they search for. Okay, we can do that, but you think that works? Also, you're saying we're not, we're not gonna run this out end of end, uh, at end step. Yeah, because we don't. I mean, the damage isn't really a huge thing right now. I think the damage is how we win because, like, it's like five attacks, right? Oh, true, because it is a three. I think I kind of want to run it out. Yeah. Let's let's do it. I don't think scheming is going to do much for us this game. It's just because the I opponent's was just like, imagining, top like if they if they get a Merc Tide online, that's a quick game closer. And I was thinking that if we can scheming for a bridge, that's we could still attack under it. Mm hmm. But now we got. I mean, now we have a force for it if need be. I'm just curious what else they could have in hand. Because most of the stuff they could cast, and they didn't... I guess they didn't want to force pitch on the Thief's Guild. Okay, that creature. You know what? Let's fight over this. This is this is how we win the game. Mm. Maybe they got Stifers. They got still two, at least like two copies in the deck. Oh, that's two copies. Oh, they... Wait, they have Hydroblast? Oh, yeah, we play blue cards. Julian, come on, remember. <laughs> Try to keep up. <laughs> Uh, how many days is that gun? Might as well just play it out. Yeah, there's like just three just days of gun that's just, just like cast it like this. Okay. I guess this is fire. Let's just run it out. <laughs> okay, Molten Collapse number one is gun. I don't think they get a second copy. Usually they only play a single copy. Have you ever been to Ibiza? No, but my parents went there on the honeymoon. That would be a cool place to, mm -hmm. to check out. You know, I'd actually love to see uh, like the, the more natural parts of Mallorca. And a friend of mine actually goes to Menorca, which is like the third island of those, those Balearic Islands. Or oh, what about cave diving? Uh, what clean. about Morocco? Ooh, now we're talking. <laughs> There's a really cool thing I just saw lately on, on Morocco about um, there's a type of music. I forget the name of it, but it's basically where like a lot of like like American blues was originated from uh, and a lot of like um, like Jimmy Page and the Beatles and, and stuff. They would go there and experience. Uh, I think even Hendrix, Jimi Hendrix would go there. And experience the music there and then they'd come back with that influence to put in their music i didn't know that but i know that morocco like my, the company i work for we sent a lot 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 of people to morocco to dakla which is like west sahara for for kite surfing actually and i guess also oh, yeah, surfing, that'd be rad. ah morocco you know a friend of mine she actually wanted to to ride her her uh, land cruiser or land rover to to morocco together with like another couple but then they couldn't because the other couple i think got engaged or something and then they had like other plans but they they do those like crazy holidays i'm trying to find the uh the picture i took on the, the documentary i was watching to find to figure out the name of it because I, I don't remember the name of it 
Mali is a great music scene, despite music being prohibited in the country. <laughs> I mean, Mali is oh. like, an, a, like a pretty bad situation right now, like really bad. There was some South American country where they had they had banned rock and roll for the longest time, and then they just recently started allowing rock and roll shows back there, and everyone's like going crazy because they can actually listen to music. Like they had actually banned rock and roll. Like how crazy is that? Yes. <laughs> how how do you even go about that? Like how do you qualify <laughs> whether something is like? Is this already rock and roll or is this just like barely not rock and roll and stuff? <laughs> like, no, it's alternative. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> Don't put me in jail. Yeah, exactly. Test it. Run the tests on it. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm wondering whether we should just like scheming symmetry twice for something that wins the game, which I guess actually we can only scheme symmetry for him once because there's only... A... Oh, no, we have four copies now. Uh... I would then... just go for another bridge, really. Ooh. Okay. Okay, you know what? Let's do it. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna trade for whatever they get anyways, and they already have one force. And we wanna get rid of the scheming symmetries anyway, right? You're not sold on the scheming symmetry card. You must scheme harder then, kinda. By the way, in, in March I'm going to my first my first Warhammer tournament. But I'm not playing. I'm I'm going there to take pictures. <laughs> I'm bringing my camera yeah. and I'm I'm. Maybe I'm going to get like a sweet macro lens and then I want to take some pictures. Uh, so you're saying we're not going to get the card that wins the game, which is fair, right? Because I mean, we would trade for force uh, anyway. So we could yeah. get, uh, we could actually get Thoughtseize, which is like so weird, right? Scheming symmetry for Thoughtseize. Time walk the opponent basically at that point. <laughs> I would do one for a bridge and one for the helm. Okay, that's good. That's the one for the bridge. And it's going to, the first one is definitely going to trade for a force. How many forces have they used? Uh, uh just one one two so they used one they got another one in hand and they got two more in exile so this is the last force the last force that sounds like a movie the last force is upon us the last <laughs> they force. should make a they should make a magic series on that <laughs> like a super <laughs> super dramatic tv show <laughs> Like this, this force. guy wanders the world. This guy wanders the world and he has one force left and he has to wait to the opportune moment to use it. How, how does that work? The last force has perished. The galaxy is at peace. Something like that. You know, that, like the intro to Super Metroid. <laughs> so, somebody look it up. What, 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 what's the, the intro to Super Metroid again? The last Metroid something, the galaxy is at peace. But I don't know what the last Metroid something. You know, I never played Super Metroid. You've been missing out, sir. You should. I, I, I mean, some people can't get beyond like the, the SNES 90s graphics. If that's a turn off, then I mean, yeah, you probably wouldn't wanna. But hey, well, I never Mario. had Super Nintendo. That's that's the big reason. I never owned a Super Nintendo. It's probably on my uh, my Raspberry Pi, my emulator. Oh yeah, you can get like um, basically emulated Super Nintendo stuff everywhere. Could probably play, like, play, play it on like a toaster or something. I've seen somebody play like <laughs> Doom on a pregnancy test. So yeah. <laughs> Ooh, now look at this. Now look at this. I mean, everything is gonna get forced anyway, but we might as at least try. Actually, no, the base is gonna work as the wait, the opponent did not force the opposition agent? Okay. I mean, none of this is gonna work, right? Wait, this worked? It wasn't supposed to work. <laughs> <laughs> where, 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 where do we go from here? Do we just get a... Uh, no, we can't ritual into a helm. No, I guess um, you put helm on top and then we get something out of the opponent's deck, right? That's how it works. Also, they only have 22 cards left. You can almost like... Well, actually, we can't mill them. <laughs> but we can just like... Yeah, I would just get the helm. Okay, let's get the helm. And then we get something from their deck. Okay, they got Bowmasters, which doesn't matter. They get Force, which we know about. And Molten Collapse. Interesting. Anything they could toast an artifact. Um, Molten Collapse can, but only but I don't see anything. Speeds. So they basically, they want a blue card. So they can use Force next turn. And we need protection from Force. When can I we take actually... out a Force of Negation, maybe? When can we actually use this? 
You may play those cards for as long as they remain exiled, and you may spend mana as long as they remain exiled. I wonder if we could... Oh, no, Days wouldn't. No, the really opponent's just going to kill our opposition agent next turn. I mean, that's pretty clear. Um, and there's a chance they descend and then do nothing. Okay, so opposition agent's not going to live. What, what do we even want from there? Just take a blue card, I guess, for the force for uh, to protect, try to protect the. Um, and we the don't home. Want, we don't want to cast anything else. Like we could get Omasas, right? Omasas would be pretty sweet, but we can't cast it. We cannot cast or the ponder. card. Like we cannot cast the. Oh, ponder we could cast right away, but then like this happens. But I guess that's fine. Like I'm trying to to pick something that we can use right away, right? That's the idea. Because we can cast the card we pick right now. Right. Maybe bolt the bowmaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking between just bolt and ponder, but um... ponder I'm not too big of a fan of. I'm even like thinking maybe wasteland, but that's not good. You could also actually just pick a force of negation, like you said, just reduce the odds. Yeah, you could also I would do a force. DRC. Oh, we do got to make sure we, we got enough time if we oh, do win yeah. this match to get third game. Oh, that's a third game? <laughs> if we win this. <laughs> shit, dude. Oh my god, okay, never mind. Oh shit, oh shit. I thought this was the third game. I was uh, like so chill because I figured out this. It might be, but I'm pretty sure this is the second. It's the second game, right? Yeah. Okay. The opponent's gonna flash this one in. Doesn't do anything. Actually, did, did somebody check? How many ways does the opponent actually have to get rid of uh, Snary Bridge still? Opponent might not I didn't even see anything. Uh, I think there might there was a second copy of Molten Collapse in hand. So they can get rid of oh, one of them. Oh, maybe in hand. And I think there was a Mystic Sanctuary. And also they could burn us out, I guess. Oh, I should have checked that. Anyway, or maybe we just... Oh, no, of course we do need... But we trade this... Oh, they can hardcast Force. Oh, I was like... I totally missed that they can just like hard cast force. You didn't even need to, need to pick up blue card. Oh, that was not good. Um. Um. Okay, well, pass. No, wait, not pass. Then they can attack us if we pass. Oh, this is all messed up now. Uh, mm. uh, okay. Oh, well. yeah, I missed that hard cast. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, if we get another blue card in hand, we could technically no, force we need to, the we need negation. To, uh, uh, that doesn't work. Also, we need to cast it right away anyway, because we don't want to get attacked. Mm. I guess we... Yeah. Collapse doesn't remove we have another Okay, helm? that's good. Oh, no, that oh, was, all the helms are bridge. gone. Perfect. No, no, we got no more helms. That, that's why I was, like, hesitant to, to pick the helm on the Scheming Symmetry. Because I've... Maybe God, we don't want it right away, but I didn't really, like, that was just, like, my gut feeling. I didn't really properly explore why I figured we don't want it right away. But right now, I think there's actually a world where we just, like, mill them. Unless they have enough bolts to kill us, which could be a thing. Okay, there's two bolts, which is six damage. That's not good enough. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Hmm. Come on, crabs. Uh, let's just get rid of this. Oh, no, no, no crabs anymore. No crabs in here. All in the side part. Oh, yeah. Okay, all the bowmasters. I believe there was a Mystic Sanctuary in there. And if there is, then they will kill us. If there's a Mystic Sanctuary in there, then they can, like, find their two bolts. No, they can't because the ley line prevents the bolts from going to the graveyard. And oh, this is so interesting. I think opponent might not be able to kill us unless we draw stuff we can't cast, which would be like force of oil. Drawing force would be hard. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, this is so terrible. Okay, now we might just die. Uh, I was told this is the best card in the legacy. It hasn't been in a while. I guess we could like... Oh no, we can't cast Force anymore, right? We can only cast... I would this. still cast that. Okay. It's less damage than them attacking. So, yeah. You know what we're gonna do? 
We or we could exile it. Yeah. <laughs> we can count we can count on it. <laughs> Take that opponent. We can force our own thing. Problem is we will draw more of those. <laughs> this is just like this is not actually a solution. <laughs> <laughs> this is me telling myself that I, will, that I will clean my apartment at some point as I like sweep everything <laughs> under the rock. Yeah, this is well. At least it's in a at least it's in a a, a nice mound to vacuum later. <laughs> that's see that's step two that I tell myself. <laughs> oh god, oh this is so bad. Yeah, this was like pretty messed up strategically. I think we could have won this game had we played it better on the scheming symmetry. But yeah, time time is a factor. And I always like I, I want I want time to be even more constrained on Magic Online. Like you already have more time on Magic Online than paper, because like you don't need to like you basically get like five to eight minutes extra time on Magic Online. Oh there it is again. <laughs> Our best friend. Okay, well. Go ahead, wreck us. That's not even anything we can draw into. Oh my god. Oh wait, we're dead. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, uh, here we go. Okay. Well, that was something. That game. Well, was the ponder we would have only taken one damage. Oh no! Yeah, it was a brainstorm. <laughs> mm, oh yeah. By the way, you know, you guys in the US. You really need to get something like this. It's it's kind of crazy how hard you have to fight to find something like this. This is so what basic. Is it? It's the most basic thing you can imagine. It even has oh. punt. Yo, punt, German punt. Amazing. Just this, bottle water. This is one and a half liters. I don't know how many gallons that is. Like a gallon is like this huge tank, right? This is probably not a gallon. How, how much is that in American units? Like 14 Fahrenheit something i don't know this one and a half liters it's just sparkling water and it costs 19 cents at least it used to always cost 19 cents maybe, maybe it's more now like the the deposit that you get back on it is more than the actual content of it and it's so hard to find this stuff in the us and europe is just like everywhere in freedom measurements and freedom measurements it's one and a half liters oh god <laughs> that's, that's, such a that's interesting joke. it's like less money to recycle Lesson. or you get more back yeah you get more back to recycle it than you like pay for it also nutri score a it tells you how healthy it is even though nutri score is like completely messed up don't look into that but technically <laughs> i guess you you wouldn't really give water anything other than a also did you know water has uh 18.1 milligrams per liter magnesium. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Well, that's good. We all need magnesium. I was I was told... Because uh, I was actually... like Nowadays, I take magnesium like twice a day. But that is the most... Uh, that's like the number one element for your body. Like there's... It requires... More cellular processes require magnesium than any other element. Wait, I, I guess for for like basically goes into your bones, right? That's how it works. Well, it, like just uh, any number of different processes in your body, like mm, I, I would have guessed magnesium like, is required for more okay. like two hundred something processes in your body require magnesium. I have no measurements whether that's a lot or not. <laughs> if you tell me your body does like five <laughs> things, I'm like okay, sleep, eat, shit, talk. <laughs> That's how they like in ancient Egypt or ancient Greece. That's like how they figured it out. Like for and five I think bodily functions. Uh, and I think it's supposed to be like the main uh, thing they do. Like if you have like heart problems, it's like like magnesium is a big factor of like calming your heart down. Of like it's a big thing problems. about relaxation <laughs> of fixing heart problems. Yeah. Uh, I heard this? so much about this new ley line. And I've never taken the time to properly figure out what it does. Each non-land permanent you control is all colors, so you can pitch everything to everything for pitch cards. Lands, oh, non-land, I guess. Lands you control are every basic land type in addition to the other types. Yeah, that's messed up. This feels like that, uh, 
that that vol what was that volcano shooting deck with when mountains come into play they they oh what a hoot you yeah oh, i think this feels like a volcano deck ah uh, i think it's much more broken than that i've only seen like minor stuff of what it does and it seemed a lot more broken than just like oh yeah Leyline Leyline people binding. out i guess we can still just chill and figure out what happens like i've seen this go into like in rhinos and then i'm not too sure so this is basically every this is imagine like showing this to somebody when an alpha was released but, but even <laughs> that like look at this oh my god as i spit up my screen <laughs> it's even good good against tasha because it costs tons of mana it could be rhinos control or aggro <laughs> could be anything apparently Let's see if the pond likes this. Uh, no land is a problem. No land is mucho problemo. I guess we get rid of... I kind of want to keep Dark Ritual into a position agent because that's just like cheesy out that we can have. Maybe this and that. Okay. Let's see if we can cheat. Actually, pond is not even like... They don't even need to crack their Misty Rain. How does this even apply to fetch lands? This is so stupid. Well, there's a chance that they will use their Misty Rain first in the upkeep. If they're bad, they will use it end step. Okay, they're bad. Just like a minor thing. And opponent might not even be bad, but it's just like not how proper sequencing works. Anyway, um, so that's the guy who constantly messes things up on stream. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see if we can opposition agent there, hijack their land. Come on. If we can't have an extra land, we're going to steal it from the opponent. Yes. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Their opponent has a, a 12 mana dragon. <laughs> Two 12 mana. <laughs> What is better than one, two of those guys? Oh my god. Oh okay. wow. So you have two lands. Oh no, actually. No, it basically costs it, like they don't double. It costs it's ten seven, less yeah. mana, right? That's how it works. For each basic land, yeah. So it costs ten Hi, less. So, so it can only be five less. Because there's only five basic land types. They, they don't double, I don't think. They double. The spell costs two less to cast for each basic land type among lands you control. So it costs ten less. Like oh, that, 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 that's that's it's, it's like not affinity for land types, it's just like two less for every land type. So, five land types uh. times two, ten. So, this is a two mana, four, oh, four, yeah, that's trying. Right. two per each creature control is vigilance. Okay, so this guy has vigilance, hexproof. Okay, vigilance, hexproof, lifelink, first strike. Tra fuck this shit, man. Leyline binding, also one mana. Holy shit, this card, man. <laughs> it's just like we're, who was well, rocking the results? Get all... Oh, because the creatures get all colors. That's ridiculous. This card is ridiculous. Like, how do you work for results and just like design this card and be like, oh, oh, oh it's gonna be so much fun for like two weeks, and then <laughs> you know in Germany we say nach mir die Sinnflut, which is like after me. Uh, how do you how would you call like Sinnflut in English? Like well, maybe the, we. It's basically the flood that away. like knocked out everybody uh, around Noah, except for Noah. After me, the de the deluge. Deluge, yeah, 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 that's the one. What um, if we uh, Tasha the dragons away? Do they have any other wing cons? Oh, I guess Merc tides. Well, they already have two in hand, so we don't even need to Tasha them away, right? Oh, they're in hand. <laughs> we are being killed. Is there anything like okay let, let's actually move to the real thing which, which kind of land do we want from them like this is not bad we probably rather want underground sea how does the opponent not have underground sea are they bad are they stupid no uh okay what, what else is there in the deck by the way uh stuff 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 oh just random good stuff this is everything i hate about magic literally this deck. The only cool thing is the science of Draco. Everything else, I literally hate everything about this. Okay, mm, let's figure this out. We definitely want a Black Source. 
<laughs> the only black sources bar you that comes and play untapped. Wait, that stuff also pitches to force? Oh my god. This is just like... This is just so stupid. Um, but I guess technically next turn we could go crap and play the uh, Rafine's Tower tapped. Can we even cast like... What, what's this? Dude, I've been out of magic for like two months, it feels like. You may play. Okay, so we can play lands. But the Scion is just gonna kill us too quickly. Oh no, they, they missed out on a land though. And they don't have an extra... Okay, opponent might also be a little bit fucked. Okay, let's be greedy. Let's be le great. We need to be greedy though. We don't really need to be greedy. We can just... Yeah, you know what? Let's pick Bayou. Wait, cards are not all colors in their hand. Oh, you control is all colors, so you can't actually pitch around like crazy. Thank you. I didn't, I didn't notice that. That would be cr that would be cr kind of crazy <laughs> if every card in your deck could pitch to force. <laughs> I mean, no land. hello, painter servant. <laughs> huh. Get one found a land. This is just like it kills everything that's cool about magic, and I hate that so much. Like character and like different stuff and everything. It's just like, oh, whatever. Okay, we got the crap. And we mill them. This deck might be so grindy, it might just be able to be fully milled out. Oh, we milled two science already? Okay, so now we don't need to... Okay, it's, it, it, I guess milling two science is great for Tasha's. Because we know they have two in hand and two in the graveyard. So maybe there's a world... Oh, me, <laughs> Mr. Roboto, that would be something. Oh, yeah, I would love that. Wait, didn't your punch just like... Oh, they got rid of our... The Voidwalker, okay, sure. A pawn is like pretty optimistic. They still haven't cast that Epic Dragon yet. Uh, dude, we are, we are here to take out your entire deck if, if you want, ask us to. Number one. Number two. This is the most random mana based there, by the way. Yeah. Hit them again. And now we shall cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter. By the way, did you know they actually put Tasha's Hideous Laughter also in D&D? Like it's a D&D spell now. Wait, just five cards? Oh, fuck this shit. Like Terminus, like all the, the expensive stuff. Okay, at least that's gone. Time to fireball the library. We actually only lava X the library. Oh man. Now they can cast like Remember this a ley line binding. Wait, where where are the stupid science? Oh, did they put the science on top X and then we milled them? That's why they're <laughs> that could have happened. Oh yeah, they brainstorm. Okay, but now we got oh god, this is so stupid, this card. Okay, we don't first strike doesn't matter, hexproof doesn't really matter for us, lifelink doesn't matter, trample doesn't matter, vigilance probably doesn't matter. Like, really, none of that matters. Yeah, like either Vigilance or Lifelink, but both together, like it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's do this and let's try, try, try again. And then we draw a bridge after this. Try again, try again. Okay, we we got quite a lot of cards. Can the next Tasha get rid of 14 cards or 13 or actually 12 would do it, I guess. It's just a 4-4, yeah. It's basically a 4-4 four four flying, I guess. For all that matters. Like 4-4 four, four flyer for so two. If you put it like turns. that, it actually feels kind of like fair in today's legacy <laughs> standard. <laughs> like 4-4 four, four flying for two, like yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> it's like bring it on. Yeah, it, it breaks Tasha's hideous laughter pretty hard. Okay, are we dead next turn? N we are not, right? Ah. Huh. We have a couple turns. Surgical. Oh now that's interesting. I would surgical the Layla. Uh, what's their biggest cost that they haven't? Um, well, the, the biggest cost maybe is a leyline binding if we can. Oh no, they don't have any in there. Okay, so they got. Leyline. They only have two scion. Uh, no, they had four, four altogether. But I thought one was in hand. So I don't think there's another one in the deck. 
He also, like, what, what I'm thinking about is I kind of want to mill something that's a one-off in the graveyard that still has, like, three copies in the deck. That's what I'm thinking about right now. But there's nothing that really fulfills that. There is one Brainstorm at best left in the deck, which is not great. What is this? Oh, oh crap. This is the deck with the highest average CMC. Could be... I would do the Scion. I think it still might be Sneak Show, because Sneak Show also has, like, forces and, like, all the 50, like, 15 mana is a big thing. And eight mana, and I was like, uh, sneak attacks and stuff. You really want to go after the sign? They should have well, won. Because if they do have one in hand, then they they would probably play it next turn, and then our following turn would be dead. <laughs> you 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 have a point, but for a different reason, I believe. Like if they had one in hand, they would have played it last turn, right? That, oh that's... yeah. <laughs> but we saw two in hand, but then they were gone maybe and two are in the graveyard so there's a chance actually that those are the two that we saw in hand and they were brainstormed back so yeah like right now i think the best chance actually is to go after the science because they've given yeah. us signals that they don't have one yeah i'd go after the cyan because then we at least have yeah i'm just wondering i think we do pay life right we've seen spell pierces there's one spell pierce in exile now i think we've seen two so if we paid mana for this, then we could get Spy Pierce Natasha. So let's a life or sign of Draco. And let's see where this leads us. Yeah, but there's no Layla in the grave yet. Okay, there actually was another sign in the library. Let's count this up quickly. We, we, we gotta stay under 20. 1, 2, 9, uh, 14. It's 20. Or it's 19. 17, Isn't 18. It? 18, right? It's 18. Anyway, 18. but it should be good enough. It should be good enough. Yeah, 18. Dude, let's get there. Is there anything they can do in response? Not really. Let's get them. And let's use the mana from their land. <laughs> <laughs> Fireball the library. This time it worked. Here we go. Nice. Oh god, that game was so hard. <laughs> that game was ridiculously hard. <laughs> How do we even win this game like ever? Okay, well, where do we go from here? <laughs> I, I kind of like the mill plan of the crabs. Hoshes go out. Do they though? <laughs> they, just have, they just have... I mean, they won that, but I think in a normal game... Because we ended up with, what, three Toshes? Yeah. I'm just... We, we, there was like no way we were winning this game without Tasha's. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm actually I, like I don't know. Like I really don't know because like <laughs> is there anything in the side that like excites you? I'm like, eh. Not like really. maybe Thoughtseize, but it's like maybe a couple more Helms. So you're saying that like, we could go for the the Helm plan, serve the Tasha's plan? Just slightly, not like super hardcore Helm plan, but just. All right, you gotta commit. Like with this kind of stuff, you yeah, gotta yeah. commit. Maybe snow scheming symmetry. I don't know. I still like the schemings. Okay. Uh, but we need to get rid of three. Oh, we don't. We need to add stuff now. Oh, we need to add one. Yeah, we need to add stuff. Maybe um be Thoughtseize. Don't hate Thoughtseize. The one thing about Thoughtseize though is like Draco comes down before we can Thoughtseize it if they have Leyline. Well, actually no, we can't. We can do it in the first turn but it doesn't like eh. Afterwards it like loses a lot of value. But I guess it also protects our kill because then they can't Leyline binding um, while Doughty Whitewalker or something but that's like so slow. With with all their swords and Leyline bindings and stuff do you think Bruvax kind of not optimal. But which one? Bruvac. Why is that not good? I think oh, that's really good. It's one of the best cards you can have when we go for the crap plan. Okay. Because that's another thing that they have to to um, remove. Like basically, we want to have as many things as possible that they need to lay on binding. Because I think they're maybe light on that kind of removal. Not sure. Oh, now we have to cut two cards. It's got one scheming symmetry and maybe the surgical surgical doesn't excite me. 
I mean, surgical is pretty nice if we do end up just milling one, one uh, Draco. Yeah. That's bad. <laughs> That's the problem. Um, <laughs> like if the idea is to get the Draco in the, in the graveyard and then surgical it. Then that's like something that feeds into Tasha's plan, and we like we don't really want to do Tasha's plan. Mm. Okay, anyway, let's try this. One of might do the secret strategy of mil of smulliganing, so they can have more cards in their library. Mm. Yeah, opponent already on that plan. Mulligans to six. They figured it out. Yeah. And they brought in their one of Emrakul. <laughs> oh, God, God, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would definitely check out Morocco, though. I haven't, um, I couldn't find the picture of that style of music, but um, if I find it, I'll, I'll message you with it. Cool. So they got, okay, Espa plus Blue. Uh can we wreck them somehow? Not really. Like we definitely don't want to take force. I guess we could take Leyline Binding because it's the only card that does something. We could technically take Brainstorm, but it doesn't excite me. Maybe Leyline Binding, I don't hate Leyline Binding. What do you think? Let's take the Leyline Binding. Yeah. Just a good kind of catch all for them. Yeah, like you don't really want to take Ponder there. Kind of want to take Brainstorm, but it feels so weak to take the Brainstorm there because the hand is like okay ish. Not even sure they want to cast Brainstorm here in the first place. Loose Origin can be attributed to West Africa. Did not know that. Yeah, I never really thought about West Africa as like. Where I could go, but now that you mentioned Morocco, like, yeah, I've actually been sending a lot of people there. Like, one of our best destinations. And the, the cool thing about, like, in my shop is, like, we get up to four, I think it's actually it's five, additional paid days off if we go to a destination that's relevant to our company, because it's like a, like a hotel or like a destination, a country that we sell. So if you, like, get experience there, like first and experience was like the number one USP for our company. It's like why people book with us because like we know those places. Force, pitch, force of negation. So our boss is like, okay, you guys already have like 30 days off and you get five extra to go to places that, that we sell. So I could actually do that for Morocco. That's but you, awesome. But the thing is like, if you go to that place that we sell, which is like West Sahara, it's um, called Dakla, there's really not much there. It's kind of cool for sports, but it's really in the middle of nowhere. Well, okay, I, I think about it. I guess you could uh, you actually, actually you do do a stopover in in Casablanca. Uh oh, Pawn's probably casting a big dragon. Yeah, Mark Tides. Oh, uh, well, we kind of got the combo on Nawa. That's the music. Nawa. G N A W A. G N A W Nawa. Never heard about it. Should we just like play it safe and run out the, dr the, the bridge? Pawns down to one card. Yeah. Better yeah, like, would bridge. Stuff go. We will really see whether they get rid of Ponda or Island. Where's Ponda? Okay, Ponda. They, they would rather get rid of Ponda than Island, I would guess. In speaking of drinks, America doesn't have. First, sparkling water. Second, and this is like one of the most contested drinks in Germany. There were actually like lawsuits about this drink because two companies want to make it. Spezi. Fucking Spezi. And this is the OG Spezi from Augsburg. This is not the ripoff from Paulana, which they recently won a lawsuit about. They can actually make that one. Uh, wait. We and that's another type of sparkling water? Well, <laughs> it's, 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 you guys would call it soda. Um, it's 50% European Fanta and 50% Cola. Coca-Cola. Oh. Yeah. 
It's it's literally the best. But you can't get it in the US because US makes like weird Fanta, so you can't like mix it. Hmm. We have all the chemicals. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> uh, so now we can actually do the thing where we go like a position agent into scheming symmetry, right? That's that's mm. gotta be good, right? Oh yeah. You can also do the the, the tiny version of it, which would be like um, this into this. But yeah, this one's much better. Then we just get another bridge. I would think so, yeah. The American I actually do does like have sparkling water, I know. Wait, orange chocolate. Like like chocolate with like orange flavoring in it. Oh, that's very rare, yeah. I think I've had it once. I don't think it's bad, but it's it's you you barely ever find that. So bridge. Actually, can, can, can we, like, take their Leyline Binding Where and take we go? this guy out? Hmm. Or anything crazy? Well, we still have to pay for it. Yeah, but you got uh, mana. We could. Yeah. I, I guess Sots of Flowers makes more sense, though. <laughs> yeah. Just, like, trying to figure this out, whether there's any cute play we can pull. I guess we could also just, like, get Whale. No, oh, that's too cute. <laughs> that's too cute. I don't hate it though. I would I would do the swords because then we could still cast the bridge next turn. But then we are like really committed on like just stopping them and not doing our thing. Just or like... what if we get the swords and then a void walker? Uh... Well we already picked our bridge, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess oh, beat, we, we got to win by beatdown with Thieves and Opposition Agent. So in that case, Leyland? I kind of want to get Leyland Binding. How much would it be? It's like 6 minus 2 is 4. I mean, we can do that. Oh, let's get the swords, I guess. Pawn brought in three copies of Surgical. What the fuck? Okay, let's take swords. swords. Wait, why, why can I not click? Oh, okay, just takes a moment. Okay, I think at this point there's no pond on the hand anymore. Just pass. Oh, Lind is amazing chocolate. Like the like yesterday, my colleague brought Lind chocolate into work, and she passed it around. And usually, I'm like, I like chocolate, but I don't go like crazy for it. And then like I, I picked a, a like piece of it and I ate it, and I was like, whoa, what's going on? Like, holy shit, show me that. <laughs> what was that? Okay, now I wish I'd picked Whale, kinda. But let's see. We really want this. Please resolve. Okay, okay, please, please. I mean, of course it resolves. Ah, I could have got, gotten Spy Pierced. Good. Our deck makes for the weirdest games, but you also play a lot against against a lot of weird decks. By the way, okay, chat. Like, like I said, in the last two months, I haven't been too active in Legacy. Is this, like, a proper thing that you should expect to face, like... Like once or twice even, or at least once a league. Is this like proper established tier two? Don't tell me this is tier one. This is proper established upper tier two, I guess. Doesn't this just like lose to hard control decks because this plays like so much removal and like so many creatures? Wouldn't this like get like wouldn't Uro decks like laugh at the face of this? In the face of this? It's tier one and modern what? Oh yeah, modern. I'm sure I should run this one out. Um, Maybe just the Thieves Guild in a turn. Uh, no, I kind of want to run out the this guy. Also, like, Magic on is, like, super slow right now. What if they have another binding? They, right now, they got nothing because their hand is empty. And if we draw a Ley Line or a, a Void Walker, oh, yeah. we, we will, like, be, like, so pissed that we didn't <laughs> cast him the last turn. This thing top for the challenge. We oui. oh, we're down to six life, by the way. I have no idea how that happened. I guess we don't really need to thought seize there. You definitely are Glutox, by the way. Thank you so much. <laughs> 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 
This could be a game of modern until Helm hit the, the board, I guess. That was enough. By the way, this is the second game, right? And we won the first game. Mm -hmm. We might get to a point where... You see that? If we mill a couple magic. more... Truly in 23 casts, truly in 23. Nice. <laughs> We, we might get to a point where we we mill enough to give the Thieves Guild Death Touch, and then we could just keep swinging. And if they choose to block it, uh, we, we forge work, their last guy. That won't work. Because they have first strike. That's stupid. Oh, no, they... they oh, first strike. No, no, wait. Actually, they doesn't have first strike? Line. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Well, what do you need for first strike? They need that ley line thing oh, to turn to, it into it, all colors. Ah, uh, it's not tied to basic lands. It's actually tied to colors. Okay, so we could actually do that, but I think if we'd rather keep it back so we can have more mill later on if we draw like additional thief skills. But let's let's see. Because I think they would happily trade this for this. Oh, uh, guess we just chill. Okay, I wouldn't. I think we shouldn't play additional lands now in case we draw crabs. You didn't see a way for them to remove bridge. I mean, leyland binding, right? <laughs> oh, two opposition agents. This is such a weird game. Oh, down to eight minutes to truly and play faster, and also start casting your spares. Oh, your opponent can't use fetch lands, by the way. <laughs> I wonder if they're like gonna try cast surgical extraction. Point. Okay, sure. As we say, be my guest. No more void shall be walked. Well, I don't think we did. We bring the ley lines. Uh, we probably did. I don't think we did. Oh, you're right. Okay, well, now we got a, a value ham. <laughs> <laughs> If we find our three mana dudes, then we can mill for double. Like, the only creature we don't want to hit is, like, Merktide, because it would only be a 3-3, three, three, I guess. And you're gonna, come on, don't be so slow. Oh my god, Magigon is, like, waiting for server, I keep saying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Force of Ah, oh, dude, happy, happily, yes. Wonder, sure. Let's check it out. I'm not even sure what we are actually drawing towards. Well, I guess scheming symmetry is a start. Also, holy shit, ruin crap as well. And brainstorm to make all of this a thing. <laughs> Come on. Like right now. The timer is the main the main thing. Because Magicon is so laggy. Okay, so we do the crap, we do the symmetry, and then if we want to we can even brainstorm into it. Don't hate it. Uh, come on. Do we need to cast the crap here? I don't think we need to. Anyway, no, no time to think about it. Honestly, maybe we just like want want additional thief skills. Mm -hmm. uh, or my, actually, we might just want more. Or, or Mr. Mr. Bruvac. Bruvac sounds like what mm. we want. Bruvac, Bruvac, or oh, borrow, dude. That's just like so much stuff we want. Holy shit! Um, let's just get Senor Bruvac. And then from the opponent's side, is there anything that's scary to us? There's two Leyland Bindings. You can actually Leyland Binding their Leyland Binding, and then they only have like one Leyland Binding left. Yeah. Or we could just like... Just get Lorien revealed and pull ahead that way. I like the Leyland plan, and then we get another bridge back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just like trying to figure out what could go wrong. They have Mystic Sanctuary, but there's nothing... Like, are they actually dead to Leyland Binding? You know, let's do that. You'll only be able to do that next turn. But I like the idea. 
I just got cute. Nani? Come on. Waiting for server. Just lost like a minute. Uh, oh, we don't need to do it right away. I guess we could find a land, which would be sweet. Oh no, no, I need to undo it and it takes forever. Undo. Okay. We didn't pick the best evening that Jonah is having hiccups. Mm. But yeah, we, we are in a pretty good spot, I would say, right? Not too bad. Okay, let, let, let's go ahead with this. Let's bind some ley lines. Okay, here we go. Take this one. Then just like randomly F6 because we need time. <laughs> this is funny. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh. This one is owned by Truxus. And this one is not. Church. Mm. This is my card. It says so. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag value. This is how we go infinite on <laughs> in the Magic Online. <laughs> this is... I mean, yeah. pre pre pretty sure that's how it works. Brainstorm, sure. Leyland is one of the outs. How is Leyland one of the outs? Oh, you mean Leyland binding? Okay. I thought you mean, meant Leyland of the Good Pact or something. Okay. So, Brainstorm. Come on, just one fetch lands. Oh, two fetch lands. Do you know the guy Two Chains? I actually don't know who it is, but like people always talk about Two Chains. Yeah. Oh, the rapper. I think he's an American rapper. I don't yeah. know. This is like a, like a meme. Does he wear like Two Chains or something? Because it yeah, used to be like a legacy chains. meme. Like chains around his neck and something or something. Yeah, there was a. Uh... Did you ever hear the rappy Little Dicky? No. He's a Jewish, white Jewish rapper. Uh -huh. Actually pretty good and uh he actually he had a, a tv show called dave i think it was on hulu which is pretty a pretty good show mm -hmm. and i remember like on his album there's like some guy that's like talking about him he's like yeah all you guys walking around with a million chains the only person that's around you can only have one chain unless your name is two chains <laughs> loving it by the way dude bro Rovac is going crazy here Rovac is milling out the <laughs> opponent super super hard uh let's just pass Honestly, I, I might just scheming a symmetry for another fetch land. Or borrow, I guess. Or borrow, but also do it. Opponent casts Spite of Summer. I guess Cycle stores a card. One step closer to Doom. The guy is literally called Lil Dicky. That can't be a real name. Lil Dicky. Yeah, Lil There's Dicky. just like no way a, like a rapper would call himself Lil Dicky. <laughs> well, that's the thing is like he, he was like, yeah, it's like a play on like how a lot of rappers try to be hyper masculine. Okay, I like and that. This is my way to like stab against it. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's what I like. That, that's actually uh, that's cool. I can very much respect that. That's actually really cool then. <laughs> He's a funny rapper. He's oh, like a yeah. comedic rapper. Kind of how like Eminem was in some ways, but less aggressive and less like mm -hmm. kill his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, okay. So what if I scheming symmetry here in respawn? Like they have a remo they have a removal spell, right? They they hit something. Something happened last turn. Put sorts of plushes on top of the library of Mystic Sanctuary. So they have. S oh no! Now we milled Mystic Sanctuary. Uh, okay, so we can scheming symmetry. Okay, cool. Let's just go first. So that's this. We gotta German... hope for like a turn one next yeah. next game. What were you gonna say? Uh, oh, it's really hard to explain. I just realized. That's this German hip hop, like fun hip hop, semi serious hip hop crew from Hamburg. They they're not a thing anymore. They were called Fettes Brot, and they one of the like most popular songs is called Schwule Mädchen, which means like. But it means gay girls, but like they use the German word for just like, like male gays, I guess. It's really like when you start explaining it, it's like really bad, but, but to understand. Anyway, so they, they also did the thing in the 90s where they were like, okay, all those like serious German gangster rappers, what do they not like? 
they don't like gay people and they don't like women so we're gonna make a song about stuff they don't like so they they yeah. made this really cool song where they call themselves um gay girls because they were like you know all, all you serious rappers you hate both of those things and we're gonna like be that it's like it's really cool like the video is amazing anyway should we just like randomly start helming them because they're like, yeah. like actually we get to him to helm them for double because we got senior bro bro buck or 16 or 12 we can helm from everything yeah we just helm them out also we, we got scalding turn and we got the second crap two chains <laughs> okay opponent here we go this is already good enough here we go This, this already is like almost an entire library at this point. <laughs> oh, dude, that was that was rough. That was rough because Magic Online is so slow. But like we're doing we're doing well here. All right, turn one helm. <laughs> oh no, was that the end? That was the end. Yeah, oh, yeah. that was the last. That was the third match. I was thinking there was another match. That's why I was kind of like, oh, we got three minutes for a match. <laughs> no, dude, we we, we stole the oh, first okay. game with um, scheming symmetry. No, not scheming symmetry. Um, Tasha's Tasha's thingy. Oh yeah. Laughter. Hideous laughter. Ooh, no, look at this. I think we keep this and we try to ambush oh, them. Oh yeah. Let's be sneaky. I really like the scheming the scheming agent yeah. package. <laughs> it's it's tough to make work against let's say Delva decks because there's just like it's super fragile and if one part goes wrong like the other completely crumbles but if it works it's it's so much fun by the way my little niece like five years old now she she told me she wants to go die like she figured out what she wants to do she wants to be an author and she wants to like write about nature so she wants to be like an author and a scientist but only about like nature stuff so basically like a naturologist oh my god i have no idea <laughs> this is so bad mm. and she wants to go to, Cal to the galapagos islands for diving oh boo like we didn't want this oh but actually they gave us a swamp though so i guess uh... uh yeah i guess you might as well this. yeah i mean they can't take the site the dude but then we can't cast it and she wants to go to Galapagos Islands, but her her um, sister, like she's seven, she doesn't want to fly. I think it's like for climate reasons, but she rarely ever talks about it. And she, yeah, but she's like everybody knows she doesn't want to fly. And oh crap, nice. I was thinking they were gonna take the symmetry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, symmetry. it makes sense, right? <laughs> it's otherwise yeah. they get dragged. <laughs> so you know, let's go straight for this. So her little sister was like, oh yeah, and, and she doesn't want to fly, of course. So we will just go to the Galapagos Islands by bus. And that's where like Uncle Julian comes in and is like, I don't know about going to Galapagos Islands from Germany by bus. She was like, oh, okay. Well, um, in that case, we, sh we were, and I was like, okay, she surely suggests like a boat. She's like, oh no, in that case, we shall use a submarine. Like, what? <laughs> I want to like, go to a submarine. The next best thing. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of freaky, though. You're like, you know, if anything goes wrong down there, you're just, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> and that's it, right? Like, you could, you could have a plane that, like, goes wrong and, like, emergency crashes and still survive. But, like, if something goes wrong in a submarine, you're just dead. It's GG. <laughs> Unless you're, like, Aquaman or something. Something to consider? <laughs> Are you Aquaman? Not yet. Uh-oh, we are in trouble. Oh, dude, this is amazing. That's Rainbow Depth. Coolest deck in the world. And we are pretty much dead. What if we... No. No, nothing. there's nothing really. <laughs> Unless we, like, we, we... Of course, we're going to hand them. And, I mean, I can't imagine a card that could even remotely re be reasonably in a deck that would help us out here, but, you know... Just like a flyer blocker. Might as well get the yeah. info, for example, like not of this world being there. It's just like something to that could be there, but now we know it's there. Hey, we hit. How does this not have flying? Look at it. Look oh, yeah. at it. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> wings? Hello? Birds? Birds, they got wings. This is an alpha spirit flying fucking guide. 
We are never without it's guidance. Like, if we seek it, like, when no, we it's just we, cosmetic. We seek it, we saw that. What what are just, yeah, cosmetic. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's been owned. It's, we have been owned. Yo, chat is asking, where, is, where does the name Dane Mill come from? This is this is your turn, Kevin. Kevin is actually the Danish Prime Minister. A lot of people don't know that. But he, he actually is. He is the Danish Prime Minister. Uh, well, my middle name's Dane. I'm, I'm part Danish, so... Makes you know, even more sense make... that you're a Danish Prime Minister, then. <laughs> I wanted to make... Uh, and it, It's been like a few year kind of journey for us. Uh, I wanted to make Blue Black Mill kind of just more represented in Legacy because I just love the archetype. And uh, so, yeah, just named it Dane Mill. <laughs> Mostly because of my middle name, but... <laughs> Also, Danish windmills, you know, I guess are a thing too. Danish windmills, you mean like the the card? No, 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 no. The card has like Dutch windmills on it. But there's a plane that has Dutch windmills on it. But maybe I'm like talking about something completely different. Well, I remember when I went to, to Denmark, there was a big windmill there. So oh, there I've is. seen it. They exist. <laughs> you, you know, the, the tallest mountain in Denmark, you know what it's called? Oh. Huh. Like, we're not talking about Greenland. Greenland probably has higher ones. But, like, Denmark, I think their tallest mountain is called something like the Sky Mountain. <laughs> the Sky and it's like mountain. 112 meters or something. <laughs> it's just like in Germany, you wouldn't even get a name. But to them, like it's like... Like, you could walk, it, walk up it in 20 minutes. You wouldn't even notice. <laughs> like, l less than 20 minutes, probably. Uh, but to them, it's like the Sky Mountain. <laughs> it's just, just loving That's it. That's intense. <laughs> It's a glorified hill, pretty much. That's what it is. <laughs> so, we probably want one our combo elements in there because they can kill us really quickly. So, we probably won't be killing them really quickly. So, the grind plan is bad. Problem, though, is if the grind plan is bad, then the one-shot plan is also bad because it needs the grind plan to work, whereas the grind plan can stand on its own. Uh, so, something like this. Because, like, Turbo Depth is, like, really fast. They can, like, knock us out pretty quickly. So we probably want to get rid of all of our our mill elements. Just have, like, stuff that does something. Because, oh, yeah, like, Thief's Guild, not good enough. Honestly, none of the Thief's Guilds are. Okay, now we have, like, two slots. Okay, we need cards that, like, remotely do something. <laughs> Just, like, cards that do... Maybe Surgical, if we if we mill Adepts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I see that, yeah. And now we have 40 seconds to pick the last card, which probably should be a blue card for force. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, blue card is atrocious. 4, 8, 12, 13. This is just like... Maybe just a Tasha. Maybe just a creature. <laughs> okay, let's go for Tasha. Well, um, yeah, doesn't exile, though. Okay, let's let's ship this and maybe we we make it work. Well, it's not about what we want to cut. Like, we have too many cards we want to cut. Like, we need to add stuff that's not good. <laughs> that's, like, we, we are approaching it from the other side. Also, this is, like, a really good opening hand. Mm. Let's just hope we get to kill them on... Ah, uh, the... Well, not really the second turn. Third turn, kind-ish. Unless we draw another ritual. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, pox time, baby. Come on, Dark Ritual. Have you been to any tournaments this year? Just some local ones. Um, Those are the coolest. Yeah, it was like a, it was like a one k. I think we had like thirty people playing. I don't even remember what I played. Um, it was either elves, high tide, or mill. 
When you say elves, do you mean like old school proper glimpse elves or like the, the mid-range Yeah, versions? glimpse elves. Whoa, yeah, okay. I've never played the... I bought the cards for the mid-range version and then I'm just like, eh, this <laughs> isn't elves. And then I just like went back to the ring. I mean, it's basically I... liquid, but good. Yeah. And it's like, it's yeah, I'm... better than like whatever like current elves is. I, I don't think current elves has really done all that much in like big tournaments. But it, it completely, like, it plays completely differently. It's just like overlaps on some cards, but people still call it elves. I usually like I call yeah, it I like Fiend Artist in mid-range. Yeah, there's certainly a beauty to it. So, should we go for it here? I would. You would? We shall. Actually, we should do it on the upkeep, though. I was really hoping that like um, that Legolas quick reflexes would do something for elves, mm. just help it a little bit versus the Bowmaster. Yeah, uh. but yeah. Okay, I actually, it even thought of doing Leyline of Vitalities. Oh, dude, I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> I've been there. One that gives plus zero plus one and you get one life whenever a creature comes into play, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've tried that like a long time ago, way before Bowmasters, when like Plague Engineer became a thing, like, I don't know, three years ago or something. And th th the funny part was, it was like the la life gain was actually real. Like I thought the life gain was... I was th thinking that. Yeah. Yeah. Because With also like for the opponent, I think you also gain life when the opponent gets a creature into play. And you know, at times you would draw the second one, you would cast the second one. And then sometimes, like between just like bouncing creatures, replaying them with um, Symbiote, like the, you could literally negate like one or two devils attacking you every turn easily. Yeah, you're getting like six damage, six life a turn or Yeah, something. or even if you just got four life, right? It's just like it stems the bleeding so well, but overall, it's just like wasn't really good enough. Absolute Grace, yeah. I remember those times when Legacy, when we do that stuff like Absolute Grace, Absolute Law. I guess I remember Death in Texas, like, back in 2014, when, like, Blue Reds, ah, Treasure Crusaders everywhere. They would actually sometimes pack Absolute Law. This is decent. It's decent, yeah. Definitely. Like, two good cards. Some of two of our best cards against them. And then mana and stuff. Like, we don't really have a proactive plan, but we have a reactive plan. I had some plans for tomorrow, but I don't remember what they were. Buy a ticket to Morocco. <laughs> yeah, all <yeah>, right. <laughs> totally forgot about that. They gotta apply. Actually, do I need a visa for Morocco? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, maybe I do. Who knows? Like, nobody knows. You just arrive to Morocco and then you find out. So that's oh, yeah, Royal, I was Royal. I was kind of thinking about that. Like, we don't have any kind of mill to surgical their depths. Other than Helm. You know what's so funny? When when I look at like the basically the the, the journeys my, my colleagues sell the trips. Oh they picked force. Interesting. Okay. And I can see like all the individual items in, in that trip. And for a lot of countries the we, we take care of the visa stuff and we, we build them for the visa stuff. And like for some countries, I think Indonesia, you look at it, and of course, because they have their the currency, which is like completely different den denominations. I look at that trip, and then one of the items is visa costs half a million. <laughs> like, <okay. laughs> it's like $5 or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just love that. Sure. Wait, opponent missed the land drop. I like that. Let's figure this out. Uh, okay, so this is a plan. We don't really want the ley line. I think we can get rid of scheming symmetry because that helps out our opponent like so much. Mm. And now pass. Leverkusen is beating mines. I actually not watching football right now. It's Probably like Bayern is fucked this season. But we had it coming, I guess. 
Wait, why? No, Leverkusen is not beating Mainz right now. Today is Thursday. Today is like Europa League. Freiburg managed to beat Laos. Nice. Is that the, the only sport you watch? No. <laughs> it's not. It's not. What, what other ones do you like to see? Um, Depends. Like, football, of course, I'm by far the most into. But I also really love handball. I love tennis. Uh, like 10 years up until like 10, 15 years ago, I used to watch like a lot of Formula One, um, but I don't really anymore. I'm trying to figure out like, I guess football, There's handball, kind of tennis, a... that those are the biggest ones for me. But I, I love just like watching almost any kind of sports. There's an interesting sport. I forget what they called it, but um... sporty mix sports. So basically, it's it's kind of like soccer, but the players play underwater, so they have to <laughs> hold their breath. <laughs> okay and 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 a isn't, lot isn't of like navy seals isn't that blitzball from um, final fantasy 10 i'm i'm not sure what that is but yeah like a lot of like people from like you know navy seals and stuff do it because they can hold their breath for like minutes at a time and one for of like my one of my friends <laughs> yeah one of my friends play it and they actually like they have time limits because people will hold their breath so long that they are like worried they're gonna like black out <laughs> okay um but they'll be underwater and like they'll be wrestling each other underwater and they have this little torpedo that they they have to like pass you know and they have a, they have goals on each side and the whole game is playing you know is played completely underwater like you know 10 oh, feet cool. underwater <laughs> i have no idea what it's, what it's called but i'd love to watch that i'll find out the name for my brother seven crying oh upon's dead now right unless they have like random emra in their deck Robok, sure Oh, I guess if they can do something with the black mana. Oh no, discard spell. Well, haha, but we got the brainstorm. <laughs> um. Helm. Actually, I was going to say we can actually give them Helm, but no, if, oh wait, if they have searching. Okay, so here's the worst case scenario. First, I was going to hide two Helms, but then if they take force and they search a glass we don't draw helm then i was gonna let them pick helm but i figured then if they surgical helm then we're fucked but then we can force the surgical so actually we should we should do it like this so if they want to pick helm let them pick helm and then if they surgical we force the surgical eternal magic brazil i would guess yeah good to see you back Dude, there's so much magic going on in brazil also we we, we have a we have a partner we work with in Brazil, um, where we sell tons of kitesurfing. I just sent some people there again. In uh, oh, it's, is it called? Oh, dude, I'm so bad at pronunciation. Um, Guiarmes. It's like n you fly to Natal, and then you you ride a car for a couple of hours, and then we have like a place where you can go for insane kitesurfing there. Mm. Is this good enough? Is this gonna take them? Come on. Oh no, you know what they got? They might have, um, what's it called? Force of Figure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, can we, can we, can we steal something? Oh, dude, we could have even played around that. I totally, I totally forgot about that. We could have played around that by using, um, OT. Oh, that was my bad. I guess we still kill them next turn with him of, of something, so it doesn't really matter too much. It's annoying, but we still kill them. Also, if I had used Doughty, no, we wouldn't have been able to kill them anyway. Wait, why do we still kill them? Oh, of course. <laughs> I'm stupid. Yeah, it's independent. From yeah, it. yeah. No, I was like, I was like, they they're gonna take out our ley line, but we don't have a ley line. We have a Doughty Voidwalker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, dude, I'm telling my Brazil stories. Just like the game plays itself. <laughs> No, let me uh, let me find out what's the card. So KBC Brazil, the Kite Paradise of Brazil. It's in uh, pa Parachuru. Parachuru. Still says Parachuru. Yeah. Is Parachur like a good place? Uh, 
That's the city? Uh, the... I don't know if it's a city. <laughs> It kind of looks like this. And then we take like a buggy transfer to the beach. And yeah, then you go for kite surfing there. Apparently you can also go horseback riding and everything. Like seriously, KBC is amazing. I've only been to the ones in, in uh, Egypt yet, like last December. But the vibe is just like, you know, if you go to like these, these kite surfing stations and there's like people who are really into it and they love it and they're just like, yeah, hey, have a good time, hang loose, whatever. And they, they mean it, and it's just like, cool, then it's amazing. And then there's others where it's just like, yeah, so you got some boards you want. Okay, whatever. And yeah, love that. Nice. You're three and one, hey, come on. Oh, Hatch Maze. It's better if you tap to Hatch Oh, it's one of those Waylands. I, I think those cards are actually really good because you can fetch them. And doesn't want the ponder. Okay, okay. Uh, I think we can afford to get basic lens here. We might not need them. Actually, you know what? Let's play into. Let's play into wastelands. Don't think they got it. Uh, more lands is not bad. At least one more land. Of your library, no. Yeah, it's basically like you, you guys know where Natal is, right? And it's like a couple of hours northwest of Natal still. Like, I guess there's like Fortaleza and then Natal and then you go even further like all the way to like Guyana or something. Oh, well, <laughs> look at me. Let's play around Wasteland, but at least we put another land on top. We'll still figure out whether we want the last one. By the way, Romano, did you hear about it? Like, I just read, like, right before we started the stream that Danny Alves is actually going to prison for four years. He's probably the highest profile footballer in the last couple of decades to actually go to prison. Like, professional footballer. Was that, like, a domestic abuse thing? Uh, no, 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 no. Not domestic and not abuse. It's, like, public rape, I guess. Oh, wow. <laughs> domestic abuse is the opposite of that, I guess. Oh yeah, Uli Hoeneß, yeah, okay. I guess if you count people after their active football career, yeah. yeah. Even though you could make a case that... I mean, there are, uh, I think Dani Alves still holds the record for most individual titles. Or like most known, most team titles in the world of any footballer ever. Even though that counts a lot of like random Super Cups that nobody cares about. Kinda. Yeah, so he basically, like, the guy was one of the best footballers in the world, and, like, you could make a case for him being the GOAT in his position. Like, there are a couple of others, like, like Cafu and others, so I, I wouldn't count him as the GOAT, but he's certainly in the conversation of, like, the top five ever or something. And, yeah, he, he raped a girl at, a, I think, like, at some club. Do we attack here? I guess we do attack. And you know how it, usually like you you think like yeah okay like high profile footballer rape case like what happen whatever happens they probably won't go to prison because that's just like how it often works and now he just like today got sentenced to four years in prison once upon a time oh it's turned yeah three usually the first it feels like usually in those situations like they would just like come to an agreement and then pay off the mm -hmm. person not to press charges or something. Mm -hmm. So, do we... You know what? Let's just brainstorm here in response. Maybe we find a second Thief Skeleton first or something. Oh, crappy the crap! Crap! Ah. Dude, I love all of those cards. I don't want to remove any of them. I guess we don't need this Misty Rainforest. But then again, if we get Wastelanded. Honestly, like, Opposition Agent is probably the weakest card here. Let's figure mm -hmm. this out. We can still do something on the, on the upkeep. Yeah, it was at a nightclub in Barcelona. And also Neymar paid for his like for his legal costs and everything. And also I think he had to pay the victim 150k. From what I read, Neymar also paid for that. 
because they're like best friends, kind of. That card is annoying. What do we do about that? <laughs> well, we just death touch it. Ooh, see? I like it. You still get trampled on a little bit, but yeah, this is good. I just wonder whether we now... I think actually we do want to fetch. Oh no, we... Nah, okay, we had the crap. But we also didn't want to draw the hot top cards. Wait, no, we still do this? Okay, anyway. I, I kind of wanted to get this guy online before we do the crap thing, but we can't really. We need to have the death touch for this next block. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have fetched now that I think about it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, and what? oh no! Well, actually, you still get the death touch. Because you have the power of fetch lands. Let's do it now so they can't have removal. Well, it wouldn't be this turn because it's still... Oh, never mind. It went away. Yeah. Forgot. One is like completely losing it. What is the stack, man? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything cool we can do on top? No. I love that the opponent loves the deck. I think we are in a losing position because they literally just need one thing to make our entire board crumble and they have five cards. Oh, you know what's happening, Merktide, and then we lose the Death Touch. Meh. Murky tidy, sure. I guess we could brainstorm and try to find a second copy of Thieves Guild Enforcer, which, you know what, let's try that. Hopefully they don't, they don't have, like, another dress down. No, okay. Uh, in that case, how do we win this game? Well, I guess we can get Death Touch next time, but then the stupid flyer is going to kill us. Uh, are we dead on board? I think we are dead on board, right? Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Unless we can find a bridge somehow. Oh, but we can't find anything next turn. Like we, we, this, is, this is what we got for next uh. turn. But I guess we can still like mill them a little bit and see what happens. Just like to get some more insight into the deck, even though I guess it's, we already kind of can guess what is in the deck. So if we run this guy out first, then we mill for 612. And if we do this, you know what? Let's run this guy out first just for fun. Them for six. <laughs> Minor misstep. Okay, good to know. And put whatever on top. Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Got all the info we needed. Actually, do we have enough? Oh, no, <laughs> there's no way to, to survive. Uh, what do we want in this matchup? What do you like? Hmm. Thinking. I don't think Surgical is good against them. Yeah, I would take out Surgical. Maybe some... I don't know. The skimmetries are kind of nice just to try to find bridges. Mm, the problem is they also... We really need skimmetry plus opposition agent. But they might be light on removal. Then again, their best removal is stress down. And that makes skimmetry a lot worse. Uh. Well, I also, you know, in, in worst case scenario, if we don't have agent, then, you know, we got crab mills, we got... Um... But the worst case scenario is like if we, if we cast symmetry, like we fall behind. Like with all yeah. agents, well, that's skimmetry worse. is basically a horrendous card. But even if, but even if we do have to skimmetry and then just mill off the top of their deck so they don't get their card. Okay. 
And we're still and we're still down a card though, so it's it's not it's yeah. really not that good. I mean, I get it. it. It makes sense if you commit to like a combo plan, kinda. Like what what else do they do? I guess I don't hate forces against them. I don't hate thought seizes. Is there stuff that expensive? Eh, kinda. Yeah, their dress downs are pretty, pretty, pretty important annoying. to them. What if you do it like this? And pretty bad versus our Voidwalker plan. Honestly, maybe Enforcer. Uh... I mean, the Death Touch is kind of nice, but we gotta get, get it online right away. Honestly, let's let's. I I'm really not a big fan of symmetries here. I don't know. Uh... Maybe if we keep two and we take out. Oh yeah, we're gonna take a surgical, right? That was the idea. And maybe one enforcer. Oh, I can see that. Because really, with their trample, it's kind of. Eh. Okay, let's do it like this. Maybe actually, Brazen Borrower should have come in, but now it's too late. Yeah, Brazen Borrower is insanely good against them. Like it's good against against Dreadnought, and it's good against um, uh, Dragon. Whoa! Ooh. Is this is this how we make our final stand? On the draw, this is iffy. This back. Yeah, let's send it back. Okay, okay, this is this is playable. <laughs> Just not sure how we're gonna play this. We might send back the ham. All the dark ritual. Actually, let's send back the dark ritual. Trap number one. You can bounce Dress Down with Brazen Borrow, but I think it's actually better to bounce the creature, right? Because if you bounce like Dress Down, then they can replay it and draw a card again. This is like plus one card advantage for them, kind of. And then they lose one because of the creature, whereas if you bounce the creature, then it's like even-ish, not really, but they, they like strand the creature in the hand. Ah, I can see both ways. Depends on the game state. Okay. Maybe, you know what? Maybe we don't even like mill right now. Maybe you just like try to find another crap. Like go maximum greed. Maximum greed. So who's the least famous footballer who went to prison during his career? Probably like some guy playing like in the 13th tier league or something. Someone no one's ever heard of. Yeah. Oh, there's another crap. I mean, we will have to shuffle away the ensnaring bridge, but come on, how can we not want the extra crap? Or maybe we actually wait another turn. I kind of want to wait and get that bridge. You don't want to wait, you say? No, I, I would wait. Oh, you would? Oh, so, shit. I, I understood. I want to wait. Oh. Okay, anyway, now we're going to get the bridge. <laughs> now we're going to get the bridge. Actually, I'm not even sure if we want the bridge now. Well, I guess we're going to get it now. No choice. Bridge isn't that important right now. Like, playing not to lose is always like, eh. Okay, let's, let's go for another crap. Like, this is where all the, the uh, Christmas Island crabs are. Like, we can't mill them for 18 now. It's just crazy. Opponent. There goes your deck. Whoa. They got something in response. Oh, they, they fetch in response because they want to make sure they still have stuff they can fetch. Yeah. Ransom note. Battlefield's a whale one. Uh, sacrifice ransom note. Cloak the top of your... Cloak? Cloak. Anybody in chat, tell me if you know what cloak means. I have no idea. <laughs> <What does> <laughs> you don't play magic for like a month and a half and like all of a sudden people are cloaking their decks. Like Wraith and, and Brute War or something. Like what the fuck? Do you have to research cloak? A when you cloak a card, you put it onto the battlefield face down. Isn't that like manifest? 
Oh, we cloak it. It's a 2-2 two -two color creature with no name. So basically... Manifest of War 2? How, how are you supposed to know this? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, dress down. Eh, annoying. Like it very much feels they have another like they have another stifer. I kinda wanna wait and draw. Draw like a black source. Power crap manifest. How are you supposed to know what trumpet does? Well the kids back in my school when we started playing magic, none of us knew. So the the a lot of kids they just played trample as like double strike. Double strike didn't exist back then, but we kinda played it like that because there was like, okay, so trample damage. And like first strike damage. Oh no, first strike damage they, they counted as double damage. So no trample. But why? I don't remember. There was this kid who always like was like Rancor gives like pl basically plus four plus zero. Yeah, we, we did a lot of weird things. Yeah. I liked the whole like on the way to the graveyard, I sacrificed this. <laughs> I sacrifice your creature. <laughs> <laughs> on the but on the way to the graveyard used to be a thing, right? In the nineties. Yeah. That was like a, a proper state for a card to be in. He sounds some British guy, like proper state for the card. Proper state dude. Oh, they wouldn't say brutal. They would say what what what, what do mate? No, mate is Australian, right? Something like that. Hmm. Proper state of the game. Uh, I like this. Then we mill hard. You just made up your own rules. I mean, that's basically how magic started, right? Richard Garfield was the original kitty. Just like, oh, this card. It shall attack in the air. I will call it Flying Bird Girl or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I did not expect that. Okay. Well, at least that means we won't run our ensnaring bridge into that. Does anybody still remember what we got on top? I think we have Dark Ritual on top now. Which is, which is great because I'm pretty sure that they are holding us Stifer. And I really don't want to get this, like, destroyed, kind of. Oh, dude, they, they, they are actually... Oh. Oh, that's that's dirty. That's dirty. That's like you don't get the card that's on top of your library. So now we, we can decide between drawing a guaranteed Dark Ritual next turn, which I believe is Dark Ritual. I actually don't remember properly. Or trading for the Stifle in the hand. And we might actually need the guaranteed Dark Ritual here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's still the one out of like, just like trading for the stifle and then drawing a still drawing a land but not not too high on that i think we just trade for the stifle and uh, not straight for yeah. stifle yeah Patch draw the get stifle is better right yeah but then like we we have one top deck lawrence i i, I see what you're saying but like, like right now we take like 12 down to seven and then we have like one turn unless we want to like sacrifice all of our crabs like if they stifle, then they stifle regardless, and they don't get to jam another threat. They don't need to jam another threat. We're dead next turn. <laughs> Death Grandos trample, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I'm not even sure. Like we actually did put Dark Ritual on top. So like if Dark Ritual. Is either that or Ponder? Why well, Ponder would still kind of do it. You don't shuffle if they stifle. See now that one I thought should have thought about. Time to play some magic again. <laughs> you don't shuffle if they stifle, dude. That's such a good point. Maybe we still ended up making the play that's gonna benefit us, like not gonna call it the right play. Because now they actually did have the second baseline, and I would have. Ah, uh, maybe would have fetched a basic, not sure. Also, they still have like four other cards, like four cards altogether. There's a good chance they have like some kind of interaction. But that'd be another spare pierce. Uh, how many or they forces? could have known we had a card on top we wanted and then chose not to stifle and then we shuffle. Yeah, but then they... Oh, but then we have three lands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's try this. I mean, we still lose to like, quite a lot of cards. We even lose to stupid minor misstep. 
Why dress down? Okay, at least they're, they're like trying to draw something, I guess. Okay, here we go. I mean, opponent's down to 21 cards. Let's say we draw one fetch land. Let's see, let's see. This is such a weird game. Traps versus Dreadnoughts. By the way, okay. did you know? You guys see that little girl on the bottom right of this card? You see that? It's really hard to see in Magic Online, oh. but if you look at the proper art track on Scryfall or something, you can see it. That girl is a Phyrexian Dreadnought. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is just her pet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guess we also lose to Ottawara. Scroll of fucking fate. Oh, another manifest thingy. Well, that helps us mill, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's another self mill card. Here we go. Dude, we are such a troll deck, seriously. <laughs> like, I almost, like, kind of want to just, like, take the store tournament and then just, like, completely troll people with that. Okay, let's see <laughs> what the brainstorm is to say here. One is like... Do I just like draw step, dress down? Is that even good? No, it's not. I guess I kind of would need to do it in response to Brainstorm because now if we draw a land, we can just like play it. In which case, they should have just done the draw step anyway. Or even their own end step or something. Yeah, but this might be dress down. Yeah. Draw some one card deeper, that's fine. <laughs> Another crap. Well, we can either take the crap. All the thoughts, but the crap doesn't really do anything since we're not. Oh, oh dude, actually, our hand is like horrible. <laughs> so our hand is like beyond repair. But we can thought these, and maybe that is good enough. There is the stupid stifle. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Can we take the dress down, even? I, I don't even know. I'm thinking. But the stifle can, like, stifle, well, the, well, the stifle a fetch land. will stop a. Yeah. But either dress down would would null out the mill either way, so I kind of think. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, you actually, it's you had kind a of a wash. Thing. But the thing is, stifle stops it completely, whereas dress down delays it by half a turn. Mm -hmm. Like dress down doesn't really stop the mill, kind of. I mean, I guess if they complete, if they keep it up all the time, then you can never crack the fetch land. That's true, but then they will need to keep up like dress down all the time. Yeah, I think that... Oh, fuck. I guess you guys had a point. Oh, shit. Pawn sacrifice an artifact. Who plays? Pick your poison. But yeah. <laughs> I guess we were fucked either way. We were, like, drawing two dead cards. Okay, dude. You don't play Legacy for half and a, a month and a half. And, like, people are, like, cloaking their decks and you can't see them anymore. And play pick your poison and everything. And just, like, ransom yeah. out all over the place. Like, Uber, Scroll of Fate is coming back. I mean, like, what if we, like, three, six, eight? Wait, we, we still get, actually, yeah, we survive and then nothing happens. <laughs> okay. GG, GG. Opponents like actually typing so much on chat, I'm gonna give them the GGs. Okay, dudes. Considering this was like the first match of the year, this was this was something. Oh, the first league of the year actually. Let, let's let's go back to this. Let's see what he cracked. Come on, I don't even know what you can get these days. That's good. Hell out respite, Nobilis of war. I've seen that card so many times it never did anything. Okay. How do you feel about this? I I, I kind of like that dude. I think he was win more whenever we had him, but he was insane. But I'm still hoping that we can get some extra craps at some point. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I would even Rubak splash another cool. color for crabs. No, we, we didn't play any, any four color cards yet. Uh, four color, 40k cards. Yeah, I was liking how this was working out, um, especially just the first run through, kind of getting used to a new configuration. Um, maybe another, maybe like a brazen borrow in the, borrower in the main would be kind of cool just to be able to tutor. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. And that would buy us another sideboard slot. Phantasmal image for more crabs. Now, ooh, we're talking. You know what they should print? Oh. They should print a one mana clone that can only clone one mana creatures. That mm. would be okay, right? That wouldn't be broken. 
The only problem is you, it, it, it's like so horrible when, when like they kill your crap in response and then just like comes to play and dies or something. I guess you could. Uh, well, yeah, you need. Eh. Why did they should print a crap lord? It costs like two mana. But like every mill mm. you make with a crap is like plus two. Like you don't mill three, you mill five. And the lord itself also has the crap ability. <laughs> King crap or something. Who's like the who's the most famous fictional crap in the world? I don't know anything. Most famous? Crap. I would say I would say uh Oh Sebastian, right? Sebastian or the crab from SpongeBob. Oh Mr. Krabs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those two. Double triggers of crabs and you control. Okay, okay, Messrs. We, we, we're trying to like get more power and not take over the world, but I'd be down for that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that would be next level. <laughs> Images would be cool. Mm, yeah, that's just like so, so fragile, right? But yeah, I think we're going to call just it... like one or two of them. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, some, like ship me a list. <laughs> <laughs> but I just don't now. know what, what 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 I would cut for it though, because everything else I really like too. Mm, mm, like random stuff, I guess. Surgical, this dude. Yeah, then does then probably like Thief Guild Enforcer, something like that. Well, we already have three, right? Yeah, I mean those are kind of. I flexors. do like those. Yeah, but those are better. Actually, maybe we can actually get rid of them. Those are better when we had um, Bitter Blossom. Hmm. So. Yeah, my, my whole idea of that was just like, okay, it's a little mill on themselves. It could be, you know, a blocker and in some case, somewhat of a removal. And, you know, if we slam an agent down, we get a little more mill. But yeah, that could be any number of things. So maybe <laughs> like take those three out and then put the brazen borrower in the main and the two images might be a thing. And then we get one more cyborg slot. Maybe. I mean, yeah. I'm not sold on the images though. The problem is like we don't really have anything else that's great with images. Like multiple opposition agents and doubting void focus is not good. Um, yeah. And this guy is legendary. <laughs> but yeah, and with that, we're going to rate Senor Bazaar of Boxes playing Paper Legacy 